probably I was like, gonna oh, say, Jesus. It's like, oh shit. The, Hi, Twitch. The How y'all cover, doing? We need to put something up. I know, right? <laughs> Which, you know, I actually started a Twitter thread about about that and and didn't end up finishing it because I decided instead of doing Twitter threads, why don't I actually write an article? <laughs> yeah, there wrong. you go. I mean, even if it's only like a 200 word article, it's easier than a 200 word Twitter thread. <laughs> yeah. This I've video never... already has 43,000 views. My God. Should we watch it real quick? It... It's literally just footage you've already seen. It's just an advert. Oh. I it's got a bunch of Nintendo. final smashes and cutscenes and Crap. stuff. Like, you know. Then it says available 12 7. So. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. I didn't do anything wrong. Also. <laughs> Okay, um, we are live on Twitch. Hello, thank you for watching us on Twitch. If you're just getting with us right now, we would Hello, love it if you followed us. Me. No, no, we're not sorry. We love you. We uh, we want you to follow us. We love you. everything about you. Um, hit that heart, and then we'll give you all the kisses. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Also, uh, to our co-hosts, are we all recording now? Is I was just going to say that. Um, yes. I am not. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, Steve, that thing we were talking about that I don't want to talk about publicly, but that thing yes. we were talking about, yes. it was Mario, not Sonic. Oh, my God, I did say Sonic. I yeah. do that every I also, time. I also thought it, so ah. it's all oh, well, What's man. funny is it reminded me of a YouTube channel that I got some music from that's just Sonic does front flips. And so I was thinking, is that the password? That's <laughs> Hi. All right. Everybody's recording at this point, I assume, correct? Everyone is recording at this point. No. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um, let's sure set. I've got the right microphone, but I can fix that later. <sighs> And yeah, that's a good point. Everybody, since everybody is working on new computers or like maybe a long time, is everybody recording to the right microphones? Everybody check that shit too. Everything good. sounds good. It feels, yep, I'm good. It feels yeah. like so long since I've been on a show. It's been what, two weeks? Yeah, yeah, I know. I have the same feeling. It's like, oh, hey, that Nintendo Radio. I used that. Back when All I was right. a child. Well, we are going to sync up in three, two, one. Hum chaka hum chaka hum hum hum. God, it seems though every week the countdown gets slower. <laughs> Wibble wazzle, wizzle wazzle. Justin, wham, where you at? Wham, wham. Me? Um, it was about forty-five seconds, I think. Okay. Holy, holy, holy. I'm lost. Steve, where you at? <clears throat> I completely forgot. It's somewhere around eight thirty-one ish. I'll take it. Actually, it's I'm still trying to think of something snappy to call you, Lucas, but oi, 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 me your time, oh, please. Oh, you call him snappy. I just looked at my name on the video. I am apparently at Genta today. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Lucas? Um, I'm at 527, if that's what we're still doing. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate oh, no, this. There. I'm just on a smaller screen. I swear. <clears throat> All right, so remember, um, we are going to be playing in the intro music live. So, <laughs> I think I just mesmerized Steve. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to level that out real quick with you guys, if you guys can just tell me how we are. Luigi were to do a podcast, our, uh, it might music? sound something like this. A little loud, a little not loud enough. Radio is I mean, it's, it's nice, it's prominent. I would say it's okay. good. Then I guess we'll go with it. Let me, and then, um, and then, yeah, I'll just bring us right in. <clears throat> Let's start this over right now. I believe in you. All right, let me make a note in Audacity. I just want you all to know I believe in all of us. <laughs> Here we go. I love you. Nice if too. Mario and Luigi were to do a podcast, it might sound something like this. Infendo Radio is on now. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Infendo Radio. This is episode number 465. 
We are the 24th day of October. It's almost Halloween, guys. Have a happy Halloween if you're listening to us after the fact. Um, yeah, we're having a great time here on Infendo Radio. How the heck are you doing tonight, Lucas? Oh, geez, I'm first. Um, I'm... <laughs> I'm spooky, scary skeletons sending shivers down my spine. I didn't have enough time to come up with something clever. Sue me. Um, <laughs> I'm good. I'm really good. I'm actually really excited for Halloween. I'm going to start working on my spooky outfit for Monster Hunter, so I look all pumpkin-y next time I go hunting with Steve and Phantom. But, you know, life is good. You can't complain. Awesome. How are you doing tonight, uh, Steve? You are wearing uh, the same shirt I was wearing yesterday in a different color. Yeah, we need to re- we need to get this on the new merch shop. Um, I wonder, Lucas, if I can change my name on Monster Hunter to Gentist on Von Dual Blades instead. Uh, I don't think that's an option, but we won't talk about that live on the air because that'll bore people to tears. But I'll explain why <laughs> you later. Um, Justin, how are you doing this evening? Um, I, I had something Halloween-y ready, and then Steve and Lucas distracted me, so... The scariest thing of all. <laughs> so, I've, I've, I've come out for the spring wake and, and, um, out to socialize, or, I don't know, something Haunted Mansion-y. Just run with that. <laughs> Grim Very grinning nice. Justin comes out to socialize. Something like that. Whatever works. <laughs> I'll think of clever for my outro. Right. Well, um, thank you again if you're watching us live. If you're not watching us live, we'd love it if you would join us. You can actually watch us on twitch.tv slash Infendo Radio. Even if you don't watch us live, go watch the, um, some of the archived videos from there um, and follow us because we're actually looking to get to 50 followers. That's kind of our biggest goal right now. So, um, Okay, so we are going to get into the news because we kind of got a bunch of topics here. Um, we're going to let, I believe, Justin take us away. Of course, because, you know, I've been gone for two weeks. Gotta throw me into the gauntlet. <laughs> Gotta forged in fire and flame. Okay, so let me do a new track for music. Oh, I need to make a note. Um, The uh, pre-recorded intro is cool, but it needs some, like, peppier music, like... It well, you should, somebody should have put something in the folder oh, oh, the because music was not part of the intro that was separate. Yeah, that's just the music that Eugene chose this week. Oh, okay. Well, you just insulted him. To somebody, his somebody, games. somebody uh, didn't. You guys need to put stuff in the folder to, as for suggestions because this week we're doing Karate Kid because that's what I was emulating the other day. So. Wow, that is a punishment for me. Thank you for that, Eugene. <laughs> Okay, right. so real quick, I need to get um, this going. Oh, yeah, actually, you know what? Um, I think we ought to take a moment to thank our new um, followers because we did get a new follower since our last show. So let's go ahead and thank you, right? Thank them right now properly. Afro Spartan, we appreciate it. Um, you are our 27th follower, so thank you very much. You're getting us almost to 50. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so let's. Make a note here. Justin, are you about ready, or do you need a moment for um, your deal? I'm good. Okay, so this is going to be the music we're playing. Okay, that sounds about right. Was it too loud, or was that okay? No, that was fine. Play it again. Pretty good to me. Play it again. (laughs) That is 5 4. Cool. It's my favorite time signature. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why do you have a favorite time signature? Can we visit you don't? No, I don't. I like music. I don't care what signature it is. I have a problem right now, and I don't know why, but I have every woman in the world to me stuck in my head. So help with that please um, i don't know what that is the closest i can think of is i got a girl in paris i got a girl in rome i even got a girl in the vatican dome i got a girl not the same song I got a girl right there. I <laughs> God. Got a girl all right all right all right all right all right we are about to get the um show rolling um a justin remember mama, voice cues life, a justin. Little bit of America by my side. justin remember this, this, and then the music goes down, and then you start talking about your news. 
My mom goes down. All right, let's go. Hey, oh. Rose got it right. Wow. Five minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> God. Well, there were a few before you even joined the call, but you know. It's... Uh, are we betting on on the your mom jokes now? I guess it's the new Nintendo drinking game. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm I'm muting myself, and the music's about to start. <laughs> Don't forget. All right, so we actually had some breaking news today, um, and I'm going to I'm going to preface this by saying it is a spoiler, but I'm going to discuss it as spoiler free as possible, so this should be pretty safe. Um, Nintendo Wire um, revealed a uh, picture that has been floating around the internet. Um, it was originally shared to Snapchat, and it, apparently reveals the last of the unrevealed Smash Ultimate characters. Um, so just a little bit of background, and I'll go into why they are pretty sure that this is legitimate. Um, basically, somebody posted onto Snapchat this kind of blurry picture of a bunch of promotional stuff laying on a desk, and on one of them is that really long, uh, like, banner picture that um, Nintendo's been using to promote it that has all the characters lined up in battle poses. And as we know from the last Nintendo Direct, every time they add new characters to the game, they add them to the banner. Well, this banner was laying there, and it was kind of out of focus, but it was clear enough that they could make out the shapes and colors of various identifiable characters, all of whom have been identified. Um, and uh, what makes this... And I know like everybody is like, oh, well, it's, it's probably a fake. It's probably a mock-up. And there is always that possibility, as we know. It's happened before. But what lends this some legitimacy is the person who shared it to Snapchat um, uh, worked or that like they didn't use a pseudonym or anything they used their own personal snapchat um the people people looked it up and found the person and found out that this person works for a french marketing firm that you know does promotions for various different companies including bandai namco one of the leading developers of smash um and uh the in this picture was also a clean background plate of the of of the banner so like where they have all the characters pasted on you could see just the background like off to the side so clearly this person has access to the raw the raw materials to make these uh, images and also off to the side was some promotional images for the new Grinch movie um, that have not been publicly revealed. Like, if you do a search for the new Grinch movie, you can't find these pictures anywhere. So, the Grinch steals the battle. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so, um, it, it looks like... Um, it looks like this is legitimate, and I'm I'm not gonna list off the characters. If you want to uh, see what they are, uh, go to NintendoWire.com. We don't have a post about it quite yet, um, but they also have a video on YouTube that actually shows it and breaks down what the characters are and where the evidence all is. But um, it seems pretty legitimate. I mean, I'm looking at it right now, and. Uh, there's there's little doubt in my mind that these are the characters and especially what characters there are like a couple of them are ones that you know people wanted some of them are you know your obscure surprise characters so mm -hmm. it seems seems pretty uh well i hate to reuse the same word but it seems pretty legitimate so uh i mean without discussing what characters were revealed what do we all think of this you know like i know like leaks are kind of a mixed bag thing number one people don't want things spoiled and number two nintendo really doesn't want things spoiled so right definitely a bad thing for nintendo's marketing department because you know all that time and money put towards making these things has gone to waste plus all the reveal trailers and all that 
Um, All right. Lucas. So I got some I got some strong feelings about leaks, and I didn't used to feel this way, but I'm getting there at this point. Like we are <laughs> drowning in leaks with like everything, every bit of media. And it all goes to this like desire to have that immediate gratification. Like with me yesterday, when I had to buy something for my new computer, I bought it off of Amazon. It was here in like 12 hours. Like that level of like impatience that we're dealing with. So somebody can get their five minutes of fame online and leak something from like the French marketing department for Nintendo. And now everybody knows what that is. And now the announcements aren't gonna be any fun anymore. Because, like, anybody that looks up the leaks is going to be like, oh, I knew about it. And they're going to be less than enthused. Like, let people enjoy stuff at the pace that they're meant to enjoy it. Don't just shove it down people's throats. And it's fine if you want to look that stuff up. And it's fine if you want to search for that stuff. But there's a ton of people who just get leaked accidentally. And then they have no, you know, recourse. I'm sure in the next few days, I'm going to see all this stuff on YouTube. Just because it's going to pop up in thumbnails. And I'm not going to want to see it. But it's like that, in there, and I'm gonna get to it. Then don't when they look at the Twitch video. chat because it's popping up now. Yeah, well, I, don't, and I don't check the Twitch chat. But it's it's just really frustrating because like I want to like I, I want to pace myself for this stuff. I want to enjoy a game like as it's coming out. I want the next month to have reveals. I want to be excited for those reveals. And now it's like you know if they do reveal stuff next month, I'll probably already know what it is. And it's not a huge deal. It's not like world ending or anything, but it's frustrating. It's like just let people enjoy stuff at their own pace. Don't shove it down our throats. Well, yeah, and and I mean it really, it wouldn't the leaks from the consumer side wouldn't be so bad if, as Steve said, they people didn't put them in their thumbnails and ruin them for everybody. Like it's one mm-hmm. thing to say here here is uh you know like what i saw a video this reveals the the rest of the smash roster and i chose to click on it and i chose to watch it but it didn't Mm -hmm. spoil anything until i decide to watch it well yeah there's that person bendo wire did it right because the thumbnail for the article i saw on twitter was the grinch and a smash logo clearly not (laughs) revealing anything right i'm calling him i'm I'm calling him out right here i know exactly who it's going to be the stupid Prasafia gaming channel that's popped up all over YouTube that spoils every video game before it comes out. They spoiled the final boss for Mario. They spoiled the last roster for Smash. They're going to spoil everything they can, and they're going to spoil this for me too. And I click not interested on every video, but they still show up in my feed because they got the algorithms. So Fortunately, come at me, Prasafia. I know you're out there. I know you want to spoil me. Let's go. Um, I mean, I, it, yeah, like I, said, I mean, the leaks are one thing, and we'll deal with that in a moment if we have time. But yeah, don't be the person who walks around with the T-shirt that says Rosebud what his, was his sled. You know, like let if, let people find if out. You the get that reference. Home. You're over thirty. <laughs> Please, everybody gets that reference. That's why it's the that's why it's the joke. But um, I I I I don't get the reference. Oh, I don't God. get it either. <laughs> Thank you guys. Any, any, any. Luke, Darth Vader is Luke's father. Yeah, all right. Let's. Yeah. Okay, King thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. All right, thank you. All now right, you're right. in it's my wheelhouse. Ranch. Anyway, the point. All right, right, all right, all right. Let's let's free. get out of this segment. Um, I know we're we're running long. Um, we we're kind of. We, I, I don't really want to talk too much more about the leaks. I mean, again, they, they're leaks. If you want to look at it, let, let go look at it. But yeah. Did we hit our timer? We did. Did anybody else hear it? I, I probably had it muted. I'm sorry. Um, with the, but yeah, the it, <laughs> I I do apologize. The okay. yeah, we, we we did hit well, the timer. Check Nintendo.com. I'll have a write up about this tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Three days ago. If you're listening later. Let's hit the break here. I'll yeah. edit this somehow. My yeah, Lord. sorry. I didn't hear the timer, so I was ready. No, to you wouldn't have because I have my B button off because I'm an asshole. I can play it again if you want to. <laughs> okay. Um, do you guys want to... Um, who, oh, Lucas is going next. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Ah, I mean, I forgot. you know, unless... I uh, I, I just Maybe. got confused because the, the other one was just a link, so I missed it. Okay, so let's get this music queued up. By the way, while well, he's up that mute, that I assume we're allowed to talk through. Yeah, go ahead. It's fine. Uh, tea of the week's up for this week. 
Oh, I don't know yeah. how anybody can play Super Mario Odyssey with detached Joy Cons. Like it is just so unintuitive for me. I'm That's the only back. way I know how. Oh, like I can't. I just can't. I can't. Like, and I. I and smell I had a no debate. Problem, I had no problem playing. Uh, the saddest. Playing Mario, <laughs> Mario Galaxy or Skyward Sword, but for some reason, I don't know. Detached Joy Cons just don't don't do it for me. <laughs> All right, Lucas, you know the drill. I'm going to start the music. Um, you're going to talk the, the noises and then the show. <laughs> With the noises and the talking and the news and the... And, and the zibbly bit bop and the jello. Not bibbity boo. <laughs> All right, I'm muting myself, oh, wait, kids. I not jokes about him anymore. <laughs> I'm muting myself, wow. kids, and here comes yeah, the music. Go ahead and mute me, too. <laughs> But enough about leaks and negativity and Lucas being a sour bunch of grapes. Let's talk about some positivity in the world. Um, Nintendo is partnering with the Institute of Play, and this is actually really cool. Um, they are partnering with them to bring Switches and Nintendo Labo to schools for second, third, and fourth graders. Um, they're doing it across a hundred different classrooms. It's kind of like a introductory thing. Um, they've already said they're trying to go with a diverse group of schools, so they're going to be touching urban, suburban, rural schools, public and private. They really want to hit as many different types of schools as they can with as many different types of kids. Um, the reason that they're bringing their, well, obviously, first and foremost, the reason they're bringing their system is because they're Nintendo. And they want kids playing with Nintendo toys, obviously. But um, in a more kind of enlightened way, the reason why they're bringing it to the school is because they want to teach kids how to be creative and how to do problem solving and how to be like part of a team. And they think that um, educating them with this Labo is a way to do that. So I think that's really solid. I actually really appreciate that. I think it's super cool. And I'm glad to see Nintendo doing it. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, um, this, you know, this is kind of similar to what they did back in the Wii days where they had, you know, Wii's in um, you know, nursing homes and, you know, phys ed classes and stuff like that, um, and, which worked out really well for them. And, you know, um, I think Labo is an under, kind of an underexposed feature of the Switch and, you know, certainly one of the more creative elements of it. So I think it's also good exposure for that because, you know, think of all the people who love papercraft who will now get a switch because they can, or game design. You can make your own games on Labo. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I think this is, I think it's a smart move for Nintendo. And the fact that they're willing to give away switch systems to these schools shows how well the switch is doing. Cause you know, they don't, they, they didn't give away Wii U's. <laughs> wow. Well, I I, um, it's also not the first time that video games have entered schools either. Minecraft Education D Education Edition is still out there, and much like Minecraft, um, Labo is going to be something that not only fosters creativity but you know uh, math and physics and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff too. So it's really cool. Yeah, well, and I, I, I think Justin back... touched. Oh, I was... oh, I was just going to say I remember back in the I don't know like '90s when some phys ed classes would have uh, Dance Dance Revolution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, you know, Nint Nintendo's had a long history of this. I think Justin touched on this, like with the DS, you know, Nintendo used to go and give DSs to schools and then used to use that for education. And then I remember DSs used to pop up in even like museums and stuff like that. So, yeah, there's so. a Lourv app. Louv, Louv, however the hell Louv. you that. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. The French have too many letters that don't make noises, so I don't know how to pronounce it. Nintendo Radio loves the French people. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're yeah. French Canadian, make up your minds. <laughs> Plus, um, I mean, I I mean not to be negative, but I think that maybe Nintendo has a lot of labo sitting around too. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I I, well. I definitely think that's possible. Um, I also think that like like Nintendo's been getting a lot of flack for use of a more polite word for all the online stuff lately. Like it's all I talk about when I talk to friends is like, oh, you hear how Nintendo like screwed people out of 20 bucks and stuff. And I'm like, you know, like I have my own opinions about that. But that aside, 
Like, just in the last month or two, they had this going on, and they had the kid who was, um, like, part of, like, the Make-A-Wish Foundation, whatever it mm-hmm. was, where they let him, like, they brought over Smash, and they played it with him for, like, an entire day, because that was, like, his dying wish. Like, I'm, I'm happy to be a Nintendo fan. Like, yeah, they're a business, and yeah, they're going to do some, like, weird, pseudo-questionable business practices, but on the whole, compared to other game design companies, I think they're top-notch. And I think they do a lot for the community. And I like to see that, you know, like considering they make video games, considering that's their niche, they sure go out of their way to make people happy. And that's important, I think, with a company like that. You know, they're not like solving, they're not curing cancer. They're not like solving world hunger or something. They make video games, but they still decide to like take an interest in education or take an interest in how people feel. And like, that's important. I'm happy that I stuck with Nintendo this long because they do good work. Yeah, and aside from even their educational stuff, like their customer loyalty programs, I think are top notch. Top notch, right? Like you know, you yeah. don't. It's not everywhere where you get coins to spend on other games. You know, like Nintendo doesn't have to give us any virtual money for that, but they do. So like you know, that kind yeah, of stuff. And their is customer cool service is top notch. Like I, mm-hmm. it, like any time I've had a problem, which is rare, but any time I've had a problem with any of their products or anything like that, they're usually very quick to fix it and usually within a you know reasonable price you said nintendo it, please sponsor this video <laughs> yeah <laughs> seriously all right go figure nintendo podcast talking good about nintendo right all right well going to. <laughs> we are going to take a little break here and then we're going to talk about some other nintendo news this time with a pokemon flavor hmm Steve, we're gonna have a debate on this one because I, oh the more God, I look at him, make me think about something. Whoa! If Pokemon, if Pokemon are the only animals in the Pokemon world, that means people must eat. Pokemon. Oh, this has been this has been done to death, dude. This oh yeah, we've done done. this argument. <laughs> <laughs> this is like um, ninety nine. I want this Ben Ten looking alien. I want this Pokemon. Like I love Meltan now. He's like my favorite. Right. Thing. I don't even care that he's a mythical. Like, just looks give like it I want him. him. It looks like a gull rock. It looks amazing. It looks like a Steve. scrap Ben 10 transformation. And I need that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that. Well, well, yeah, I'm going to save that for a <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking for, let's, like, let's debate this out, man, because I am fully <laughs> on the Mel Metal train. Like, find me up for that. Fuse me to that dude. <laughs> All right, let me get some music going. Uh, I don't know. It's like a blob with a nut on its head. That's all I know. I, I feel like we should do Pokemon yeah. battle music for this because that's about where it's going to go. Those of you who are still friends with me on Pokemon Go will notice that I've actually been sending out gifts lately to get out of the house. Yeah, I actually, I was going to talk to you about that and change the system. I was like, holy shit, Justin sending me gifts now? Oh yeah, and, and Walmart's a like a hotbed for Pokemon, so I've been catching a lot of new ones. You're gonna have to get yourself a Pokemon Plus, or a, even better, a Gotcha. Hey, oh, was the volume it. too? Here, let me turn that on again. How's volume? A little bit low. Um, I already have an Apple Watch. So. Oh yeah, that's true. That's good. Better. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna start take this one obviously. So watch the fuck out, kids. Um, let me make did it. We, well, did we want to do mine real quick first or after? Oh, yeah. No, you're fucking right. Steve's going to go first. <laughs> so we're just going to merge this into one or are we yeah. separating again? Okay. No, we're just going to merge it into seems, one. It seems like a, a very short amount of news to do two segments out of. Yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Here, I'll, I'll turn the segment timer instead of four minutes to f- six minutes, five. I guess. I was going to say five, five and a half would probably do it. I don't need much time. Five minutes. Uh, That's I, a Pokemon. <laughs> five, five and a half is, is all you need, huh? Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't take one. Uh, Steve, here we go. I'm going to mute myself. All right, well, I had a segue and I completely forgot what it was. So I'm just going to go right into my topic. Um, We're finally getting Pokemon number 807, which means once again, my Pokedex will be complete. He was data mined back when the game first came out. So we've known he was in there for quite a while. Um, His name is Zorora. 
Um, I finally fought in Monster Hunter, the monster that Lucas thinks he looks like, and it was rather amazing. Rajang. Rajang, thank you. But only in his enraged form. Um, right. But Zorora is being, and this comes to us from Pokemon.com, um, Zorora is being distributed at GameStop from October 19th to November 9th. And he's being released in the Pokemon trading card game on November 2nd. Um, he is only, you can only get him in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Um, those are the only two games compatible with this event. And I believe, was it December? No, it was January 20 something that you have to redeem this code by. He's Don't ask come, me. He's going to come to you at level 50, knowing the ability Volt Absorb. So any electric attacks that hit him, um, heal him instead of hurting. Oh my god, you mean there's a legendary Pokemon with a decent ability? That's incredible! It, it gets better though. His uh, signature move, Plasma Fist, turn mm -hmm. all normal moves that happen after his attack into electric. That's also really good. He's actually wow. like, like he's actually like a strategic, yeah. potentially competitive Pokemon and instead of the garbage that we've been getting. And on top of that, he'll come with an air balloon attached to him, which means that ground type moves will not hit him until after he's been hit with another move first where it pops the balloon. He also comes with Thunder Punch, Close Combat, and Thunder. Is so, he yeah. an electric fighting type? Um. I'm gonna have to look that up because I am not sure, um, but I know I know he's obviously given his other moves that he's focused on physical attacks instead of special. Me, I like him. I'm a fan. Me too. So, but speaking of mythical Pokemon, I think Eugene wants to pick up on this one. Oh, oh boy! I'm excited to talk about oh, it. Oh boy! Do Actually, I. he is because it's Pokemon Go. So. <laughs> You're damn right. Okay, so remember that weird little metal nut. Thing. Yeah. Meltan. Meltan's a thing. That was a thing, and it's a real thing now. It's not just a fake ditto. Um, so, yeah, um, Pokemon Company, uh, well, I guess not Pokemon Company, Ni Niantic actually um, revealed um, a little bit of information about Meltan and revealed that it's going to evolve. But not only is it going to evolve, it's going to evolve into a Melmetal, which is going to be, I, I believe, a mythical Pokemon. Yeah, it is going to be the first yeah. mythical Pokemon. So, so it's going to be great. So, I guess. Meltan is a mythical Pokemon itself, and mm -hmm. also Mel Metal is a mythical Pokemon. So it's going to be the first metal um, m mythical Pokemon to be able to evolve. If I'm correct, is that right? That seems no. to be the case. He, well, no. well. Oh, mythical, yes. But Poipol. See, I was just about to say that po po he's kind of like legendary. a Poipol. Poipol's <laughs> well, no, nothing. Poipol is a, a Ultra Beast. Oh so, yeah, that's right. So like, Ultra Beasts are technically legendary. But yeah, he's he's basically just like Poipol, which is cool. I like that they're embracing like having rare Pokemon evolve for once. Yeah, you, I love this. You, I love this. Eugene, did you read the part about transferring it to Pokemon Let's Go? No, no, no. So let me go ahead and let, let me go ahead and re read the the bio first for for it. So uh, Melmetal was worshipped as an in, in ancient times as a Pokemon with power to create metal. Because of its evolution from Meltan, its body has hardened is and is now incredibly sturdy. Melmetal is made of liquid metal and its flexible arms can be um, whipped forward to deliver a devastating punch. It can also execute a powerful, unique steel-type physical move known as Double Iron Bash. Oh, uh, that's so cool! <laughs> by using the hex nut in its chest like an axle to spin its arms around, Melmetal can deal a double strike to its opponent. Um, the weight of its heavy hex nut it, it, on its arm combined with it, the spinning motion gives the double Iron Bash move extraordinary power. So that's the metal, uh, the um, bio from Niantic. So also um, revealed was that to evolve Meltan into Mel Metal, you have to get 400 Meltan candies. So it's like, the, you know, um, uh, Whelmer and all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, all, the, all of those hard ones. Um, <sighs> but um, even harder though is you have, I think. And I, I could be wrong about this, but I think you have to um, get the Meltan candies by sending Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Let's Go is how you get really? the candies, uh, as far as this article makes it sound out. I could be wrong about that. That, but. that, does, that is what the article says. So, um, that's, that's so, so wait, Meltan can be sent to Pokemon Let's Go? Yes. Yes. Okay, that that's, answers that one of my can. questions then. 
Um, the other thing too is, and I don't know if you touched this on on this. If you did, I'm sorry. Melmetal can only evolve in Pokemon Go. He cannot evolve in Pokemon Let's Go. Is what I had read. Hmm. I don't think that's what that said, but it says to evolve Mel Meltan into Melmetal, you'll need 400 Meltan candies. You'll also be able to. You'll also be able to gain Meltan candies by sending that Pokemon from Pokemon Go to the upcoming Switch title. So I think you can get Meltan candies normally, and I don't think there's anything about evolution in here. Um, yeah, it would only make sense right, that you right. get Meltan candies normally because in the Pokemon Go yeah. game. I, I obviously, we'll, we're so about to find out about this map. soon. So I hate myself because I'm downloading Pokemon Go again because <laughs> it's a new Pokemon! And like... I don't like Pokemon Go. I don't like the mechanics. I want it in the real game. But <laughs> short of that, like, I'm getting the Melmetal, man. So I'm going to start playing, and I'm going to have to get 400 freaking candies. <laughs> oh, and it's going to be great. It. And it's going to be great. There goes all my free time. <laughs> so after all that, let me explain to you all why 5-4 is my favorite time signature. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I, for one, am excited for Melmetal. I'm excited for Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. And I'm even more excited for Gen 8. In and week. I am excited yeah. for you. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm, I, for Not one, am excited for Nintentoons. And we are going to hit that here right after the break. Like, I, I, every, every time I start to get back into Pokemon and, and have fun with it, you guys start talking about Pokemon, and I realize how little I know or <laughs> care about Pokemon. See, that's the beauty of it. It's just like, like playing Monster Hunter. It's like you can do Monster Hunter and know nothing about it and just slash at monsters. Or you can get into, like, gemming and armor combos and stats and, like, like, yeah. it doesn't matter. Like, just have I'm, fun with it, you know? I'm the, co I'm the collector. Like, I'm not all that, like, mm -hmm. into the battle system or the evolutions or the types or the, you know, natures or anything like that. Like, I just, I, I got to catch them all. This is one I don't <laughs> have. Oh, I, was I'm, so, I'm... I was so mad. I, I almost caught a Charmander um the other night at work and it ran away and i was so mad because that's the only gen one starter i don't have see so. i'm the opposite i live for the fight but i think steve is actually like the perfect pokemon trainer because he's found a balance where he has every pokemon in his collection in a living deck but he's also a really good battle strategist so, so like I'm, you know according to euro Gaming, According to Eurogamer, Metal can only be caught in Pokemon Go. Good choice! Use that. I want to use that. That's what we're using. That's excellent. Thank you for finally using that one. I what is that? I, 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 your door? Yeah, Super Paper Mario, um, the oh, 66th super. annual quiz off. Yes, that was such a good chapter, too. Oh, I love that game. I need to play that game again. Screw what people to, say. That was an excellent game. I need to play the original Paper Mario after I bought it on the Virtual Console and haven't even booted it up. <laughs> Put it on Switch. I'd play that. So right, well, sorry, I'm, Steve. I, yeah. I interrupted you with my That's music. Okay. What were you saying? Um, according to Eurogamer, Melmetal can only be caught in Pokemon Go. I still need to go to Cerebi to confirm it. But Well, that makes sense because you don't really find many Pokemon in Let's Go. It's just like the original 150. We're right, but I thought I read something about the evolution. <clears throat> only being through the candies. Hi. Oh, well, it is that that would make sense, right? So you can only get it in Let's Go and transfer or only get it in Go and transfer it to Let's Go. Let's go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, it looks like y'all are going to be re getting that game. Mm -mm -mm. Well, there's no there's ball. no choice. I need a Melmetal, man. I got to get me that Pokémon and Melmetal. So now, yeah, now I have to and play and again. Then I then I really have to hope they don't make it like a Niantic exclusive and you can't get it in the real game cuz how lame would that be? You can <laughs> never get it. That <laughs> might get me to quit Pokemon. No joke. That might Because you because you couldn't <laughs> technically <laughs> one Pokemon. Yeah, we got to we got to have a psychologist. Like wait, you got to sit down that, with me and I got to tell you everything that's wrong with you. Do you realize that that would make <laughs> Meltan and Melmetal not canon? 
This is yeah. this is the equivalent of like all the whiny Star Wars fanboys. Oh, Ray's parents are nobody. I'm done with the whole franchise. <laughs> okay. That's all that you um, think he'd be the first non-canon. Pokemon. Hey guys, Eugene is setting up the music right now, so we're about to do Nintendo tunes because Eugene is really impatient and he wants <laughs> to make this happen. All right. Um, do you need to um, test or anything, Lucas? I, I, and you know what? You're, you're you haven't gone choppy. I think I I hope that now the since you're on your new laptop, you were going to be able to hear the music 100. percent So it's in the well. You test. know what? I yes. think it's half the battle. So even if it's just better, I think like it's it's been a lot cleaner for me. Mm-hmm. But we'll see how it goes when I actually start playing music. But I think we're in a better zone than we were. And for Therapy sure. has confirmed it. Continue. Awesome. Okay. So, uh, quick, quick note: uh, the if if there are production issues, again, let's just keep them in chat. Uh, right. I forgot to say this pre-show, but if we're typing and stuff, let's just make sure we're muting our microphones and all that fun stuff too. So, uh, are okay. you going to play the like little promo thingy before this? Is there anything I can't to play, or are we just? So. Yeah, I'm gonna play. Th- this is the music here. We're gonna go with this guy. Oh. But there's not going to be any like, there's not going to be anyone saying like, hey, subscribe to Patreon. That's I, I don't have, unfortunately, I don't have quite everybody's yet, so we can't do that. But um, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, no, just ju- just this one. Cool. I'm ready All when you right. are. I am going to mute the fuck out of myself. So here we go. All right. Well, that bodes well for me this game. Oh shit! I push Control N. Oh god! Thank God. Okay, Control B. Everything's gone. The podcast is dead. <laughs> We're back to episode control. one. Like yeah, all computer. the controls. <laughs> all right, I'm muting myself. Here we go. Eugene, Stephen, Justin, come on down. You're the next contestant on Nintendo's. Nintendo's is a little game show that we like to play if this is your first Nintendo radio. Um, the way it works is these fine gentlemen get to listen to some music that I have handpicked for them. They have to tell me what Nintendo or Nintendo adjacent game it comes from. The one with the most points wins. I get to decide if there's not enough points or something like that and make it tiebreakers and stuff because it's more fun. And uh, we have Patreons who also suggest songs for $2 a month. If you want to get in on that, you can go to patreon.com slash Nintendo Radio. Um, that's all I got to say about that. You guys ready to play some Nintendo tunes? Oh, am I? See, I'm going to keep doing this just to distract you guys the whole game. That's <laughs> excellent, because that reads so well in an all-audio podcast. Yes, I, exactly. <laughs> you will have no idea what's going on. All right, well, Justin's got his own strategy for winning Nintendo tunes. To find out about that, you'll have to watch the live show. But we are going right into our first game this one comes from my pretty little mind so I'm my strategy is wait until the end of the game and just you know answer a bunch of them in a row and win um um tell me you're starting with monster hunter Generations Ultimate. I know this. I know this so hard. So I'm not Monster starting Hunter. with Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. I was gonna say Eugene says he knows. Monster Hunter so Generations for the 3DS. No. You forget that I put like 50 hours into that stupid game by myself. I do because you don't play with us. You I shut can't. your dirty that's be- mouth. That's because you interrupted me before I finished. I said I put 50 hours in by myself, Steve. I know. I know. But anyway. I, I do not know this keep game. arguing about Monster Hunter and not playing in Pentunes. That's an option. I do not know this game. Woo, I would okay. like another track. All right. Could I get a volume adjustment a little higher, please? You can get that, absolutely. How's that work for you? It's good. Good. It's good. Can we get a console? Um, it is 3DS. Monster Hunter Stories? 
There you go. Uh, <laughs> ah! I just relish in that for a second while I let my cat in so she doesn't bang on the door for the next 30 minutes. <laughs> you know, Justin, was, listing Justin off. was so close. I was going yeah. to start lifting, listing off all the Monster Hunter games that I knew of, but I had already done that. So <laughs> It's yeah. funny because I was just reading something about Monster Hunter stories earlier today and it not existed in time to guess it. That's too funny. All right. Well, in a surprise to absolutely no one, Steve takes the first point. Let's go on. <laughs> this one comes from one of our Patreon suggestions. Oh, it's I have to ding. Ding. Ding for me. I want my ding, damn it. <laughs> I'm waiting for the ding. Hang on. We're going to get a ding. We're stalling. Oh, we got to get the it's ding. Almost. Can I get a ding over here? Yeah, there, there it is. Congratulations, <laughs> Stephen. Now we're right, number two comes from Jay Z Beast. Oh. It is a game I've never heard of before. That's your first hint. Good luck, gentlemen. Boy. Although it doesn't narrow it down, really. Apologies to our patrons for not hosting this week with my theme. I'll be back next week. <laughs> Wait a minute. If there's a theme that was not a theme but is a theme, then I think we deserve to know that theme. That theme only applies to two of the four Patreon suggestions, but it is spooky, scary Halloween games. Okay. Why do I know this? This is you might have played it. This is original Nintendo, isn't it? It's so not. No, absolutely no. not. Yes, it, no. There's there's minus the point right there. Take <laughs> my point away. Would you gentlemen like a second track? No, don't yeah. give minus a point. I don't even have one yet. Well, what system <laughs> is it? Um, it has appeared on a number of systems, including Mac, PC, PlayStation Vita, Linux, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch. You had me at Vita. I this should know a, this, shouldn't I? I, I, I know I we guess this like literally every week, but is this Binding of Isaac? No. Just feel That's free to ask. Rogue Legacy. What? No, it's not. I'm sorry, you sounded so happy. Well, that fits them all. Ask me some questions, guys. Let's get some hints up in here. Genre. They define it as an action adventure game. Run That's with okay. that. Oh God. An action adventure game on the Switch? That doesn't sound right. Did we get publisher or developer? Um, it was developed by Baroque Decay Games. Baroque Decay. Oh yeah, Baroque Decay Games. And it was published by Merge Games, I believe is their name. Can we get another track, yes. maybe? Sure. You think that'll help? No. Nope. <laughs> I saw this one and I said, no one's going to get this. Is it, it licensed? Um, It is not, to my understanding. I want to say it sounds familiar, but it doesn't really. It's just got like the same kind of, you know, repetitive. Yeah, all the, all the music sounds the same right now, so. It sounds like a church in a Final Fantasy game. Yeah. Is it um, Church Simulator? It is not. No, not at all. <laughs> you got you got it. You got his hopes up for a sec. I, I got one more track. Um, would you like the initials of the game? Please. TCL. The learning, the the cancer, the tame the links. I got nothing. <laughs> the first word is the. You're third of the way there. I can well, I thought that. of something that fits into TCL, but it's not appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Justin, for not sharing. Um, do we do we do we concede that Jay Z Beast has bested us once again at Nintendo? Yeah. Yep. Sure. This job, game that I've never heard of in my life is called The Count Lucanor. 
ruminate on that for a while. <laughs> There's no way that that's a real game. <laughs> Count <laughs> Lucinor! Well, the Switch eShop does have some amazing titles on it that everybody's clamoring to play. Yes. All right, let's go on to game number three. This one you comes from me. My wish list are on sale this week. <laughs> this third game comes from me, which means I know I've heard of it before. So away we go. Fun fact, I hate the music in this game so much. So is I this... Sonic. Is that Mario and Luigi partners in time? Nope. It is very repetitive. Is, is it's it... just gonna keep doing this! <laughs> is it too early to ask for system? It's a little early. All right. How about another track? Yeah. yeah, yeah. let's do another track. You don't want to keep listening to this all night? It's really catchy. Wait, <laughs> this part is right now. <laughs> Yoshi's New Island? Yes! Holy crap! Come <laughs> on, Steve! Dude, I talked to you about this before the show. You're supposed to make it sound like I didn't give you all the answers. <laughs> Shit, I'm not very good at this acting game. <laughs> Dang, man. Yoshi's New Island. All right. Um, This next one, track number four. Steve's got two points. That's the score, if you're keeping track at home. Um, This next one comes Just from another patron. Keep track of. It is Mike Corky Dog. Um, and it is another game that I have never heard of. It is also the other game in the theme. Steve, pass me some of that. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Just mac and cheese. Now, see, if you could make that spoonful of mac and cheese actually go to your screen afterwards, I'd be really impressed. Eugene, pass over what you got over there while we're at it. <laughs> Eugene, will you 3D print some? <laughs> Wait, non-music. I mean, it's Wait. there. Oh, it's just low. I, it's like low and brooding. Will you turn it up a it's, little bit? It's not even really low. It's just, yeah, it's just ambient noise. <laughs> Corky dog, you say? Corky dog. Is this Dead Cells? Nope. Is this Doom? Nope. Diablo 3? Nope. Another game that starts with D? Because I'm sensing the thing. <laughs> yes, actually. This oh, game. No. no, no, it starts with C. My mistake. <laughs> There's your first hint. Uh, I thought it was I thought it was danger something, but it's not. Let's go to track number two. Can't... Is it Kanger? It is Kanger. Oh, this is awful. Did like Journey or Flower come to? Is this Limbo or Inside? Good guess. Good guess. It's what? I thought Lucas said it started with a C. It does start with a C. The Climbo. <laughs> would you like a hint? I figured it was funny when Steve said it. It would be funny when I said it. <laughs> Please give me a hint. Um, This came out on the Wii and was also playable on PC. The Wii and the PC. The Wii and the P. I really hope you guys don't get it soon because I'm loving this music and I want to keep hearing it. <laughs> All right, I'm going for the for the trump card. Developer. Developer. There were three developers. There was Deep Silver, Sproing, and Coke Media. Oh my God! I should know this. Says the main character. But not like Coca Cola, like Coke, the Coke Brothers, Coke. Does the main character wear gloves? If he knows what's good for him, yes, given what he's doing. This isn't Deadly Creatures, is it? No, but it is a two word title. Is it Creatures Deadly? <laughs> no. Um, track number three, which is also the only other track I could find. No. Perfect. 
one of those developers sounded familiar. Deep Silver, I've heard of, but yeah, they were the primary developer. The only I other, um, the only other C two word title I can think of is Calamity Rising. The plot of this game is when a I, I barely read it on Wikipedia, so I could be totally butchering this. But when a random dude's brother mysteriously goes missing, it's up to him to go climb that same mountain his brother climbed and save him, or find out what happened to him, or something. Is this Cursed Mountain? It's Cursed Mountain! <laughs> yes! Holy shit, you <laughs> hey, yeah. that game that I didn't know ever existed. I have that game, hey. actually. That makes sense. <laughs> Here, let but me get it. How could you I'll not remember you. music as good as this? God, and I, th I thought Lifeless Planet had ambient noise for music. <laughs> Right, well, you're in luck. You're in luck. Track five. I'll wait for Eugene to get back so I can say it and everybody gets the hint. Track five is going to have much more lively music. So. God, God yeah, that's, that is that's the, the most, game. That is the most like bud bargain Straight out of Photoshop art I have ever seen. You're not wrong. <laughs> Straight out of Photoshop. <laughs> Does it have the IGN logo? <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Well, that puts Eugene in Another the running point. with a single point. <laughs> but Steve still got two. Good job on that. I'm actually really impressed somebody got that. All Thanks. right, this next, one comes, this, one out. this next one comes out of my own twisted, warped mind, so enjoy it. All right, well, I guess I'm not getting this one either. I'll give Steve the point now. Hmm... Is this a Sega title? Um, let me check on that for you. No. Is it Nicktoons Racing? Nope. I don't think that's out yet. That would be an illegal entry. Oh, whatever. I do it all the time. What do you exactly. think this is? Gubble? Do you think this game has gubble privileges, Steve? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Is that a platformer? No, it is absolutely not a platformer. Boy, we can't even guess what it is. Let alone <laughs> How about another track? Sure. I have five. Because I actually really like the music from this game. All right. Um, did we did we get um? John? You got nothing. All you yeah. got. <laughs> Hey, is this Starlink? Nope. Oh. I wish, I wish this was the music in the Starlink. <laughs> I would be all about that. Could I have console? That's epic space battle music if you I ever heard. You can in about 10 seconds after the best part of the song plays. Just give me one second with these drums. I really like that part. Um, <laughs> it is on the Switch, the PlayStation 4, and PC. Okay, and did we have any other clues, genre? No. Nah. Just that it's not a platformer, and it wasn't made by Sega. Okay. It's not We're Death Road to Canada. Ooh, How about another track? Yeah. Sure. I think he used that one last time he hosted that. Oh, very Konami. It's not. <sighs> hmm. I'm wondering if it's. Gosh, I don't know. How Would you like a... the genre? I think the genre will really help. Please. Yeah, I think so. It's an on rail shooter. For what system? Switch? Switch. Current gen systems. Oh, 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 oh. Eugene is broken. Oh, I know what this is. I'm on the show. Oh, I know what this is. Oh, I know what this is. It's not. Oh, God. I don't want to give it because somebody's going to get it. Um, 
It's it's it's. Oh, I know what this is, Lucas. Did I you review you this do. game? This did you review this game? Every I did not game. review this game. No. Okay, then maybe I don't know this game. On rail shooter. It's not Ikaruga, then, is it? It's not Ikaruga. No. <laughs> Much less serious game than Ikaruga. Would you like the developer? Please. This game was developed by Inti Creates. Unreal shooter. Oh. By creates mm, damn it i oh oh come you're killing me man i really am bastion is coming to mind but i don't think that's when you would love oh god what is this you were telling me i need to buy it weren't you i most certainly did not ever tell you you need to buy this game oh okay i've got no idea then <laughs> uh... i would never recommend this game to anyone so you played it though publicly you pu publicly play okay this is really gonna make me mad i only have one more track Not that it'll help it. anyway. yeah if i had to give this game a second genre it doesn't define itself as this but i would also say it is an arrow game an arrow like you shoot bows and arrows no like e-r-o that a word? That mean? Means there's some guilty pleasures involved in the game. Oh God, is this uh, is this Galgun? It's Galgun. We talk about it every week. I need a like uh, thirty second break. That's no fine. Problem. I need a thirty second break too. I'm dying. <laughs> oh, and for those of you keeping track at home, that puts the score tied at Steve and Eugene, each with two points. And God just damn it, currently Eugene. nothing. You're going to catch up with me. You're going to beat me. I was going to say, I did catch up, homie. What can, you need to ki keep up. You're, you're going to beat me. Why? <laughs> I was doing so good. Hey, Lucas, will you do me a favor on... I know we've checked this before, but on your on the Zoom, will you right-click on the arrow thing and then... Or on the air, and then on the up, and then on the up arrow, click audio settings. Speak to me in. All right, English. it's gonna be a little oh. more than thirty seconds. That's no fine. Worries. We're doing a thing. On Zoom, you know how there's the up arrow next to the microphone. Yes. Click on audio settings, and just make so sure that automat. Just make sure that automatically oh. adjusts uh, volume is not selected. It is absolutely selected. Ah, that might be an issue. So then, turn your volume all the way up too. Ever oh, done that? On the mic? Uh-huh. Here comes the loud Lucas. So why, why does it muffle at Eugene when you and I play music, too? Does it do it, it when we do it? Mm -hmm. I haven't I thought, really heard much it of it. Of 10 thing. I mean, I'll, I'll just say the only time I ever hear about the muffling thing is when I'm hosting. So I don't know if that's just me being selective, or, but that might help. Am I too loud now? Are you like good? No, you sound pretty good. You sound I don't know. Fine. I, 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 I think I feel like the music is... might be really loud now, but we'll see. You want to do a test track from one of the other? Yeah, why don't we test one of the other let's, tracks that we were just playing? Let's, let's play some more Galgun. <laughs> that seems to be better. Good. Well, and then it muffled itself. Wait, yeah. yeah, are you still is it are you still playing cuz I can't hear it anymore? Yeah, I am still playing. Yes. Yeah, that's what it does. I'm, I've noticed it when you host, and I've I know you guys have noticed it when I host. Now, are you sure that like the output on your music player is not like full blast? Because it sounds like what it's doing is it's overblowing the the output, the gate or whatever. Yeah. Is that oh, better? I never thought of that. And, yeah, like is like that if, is that if, better? Well, no. you'll have to restart the track though for it to reset the gate. Let's try it. Seriously, that. Can't tell if it's better or not. It, it it starts better and then it hits and then it starts to go back. So you know. Yeah, I, it, it sounds we're gonna like, have to do some bug testing. We gotta I figure think, out what's I think we're gonna. Ha I, I think we're gonna have to get another program. Is what it's gonna come down to a non voice Instead meter. Instead of program. voice meter. Mm-hmm. Maybe a paid program. We'll we'll talk about that in the non-live show because hey, we're on Twitch. Hi, Twitch. We love you. Sorry for everybody. bug testing live. 
<laughs> Everybody want to go in on loop back for me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen, we're going to track number six and the beginning of our beautiful copyright strike because I don't care about that kind of stuff. Enjoy! I hear, I hear faintly, and I, oh god, it's, it's I think I know what this is. Faint. No, 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 I'm talking because I don't want them to hear it. Then shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I know this. I do too. Sounds like Minecraft. Shut up, Steve. I'm going to play another track. No, oh, actually, maybe I'm not. This one says it's zero bytes. Let's see. Yep, can't play that. That might have been the copyright strike, too. Yeah. <laughs> nope, this is the one I wanted to play. I might be cheating a little on this, is but it this is Final on. It is! Oh! When the night... I, I knew it. I have this song because my fiance loves Florence and the Machine. Final Fantasy 15. I don't know that this song plays on the mobile version, which is on Switch, um, because I don't remember hearing it. Maybe I was just tuning out at that point at the very beginning, but yeah, Final Fantasy 15. Well done, Justin. Coming on the board with our uh -huh. copyright infringement. Uh -huh. Yeah, you uh -huh. might want to clean that off before we move on to the next round. Nah, it's fine. Let's just it. It's, This is Twitch. This is the wild, wild west, y'all. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right, well, this next track comes from Melik Emrys, and it is a patron suggestion. Another game I've never heard of before. Enjoy. <laughs> I'll bet you all old people have, though. I know this. I really do. It's a super Nintendo. Oh, my God. Killer Instinct. Wait, what? Killer Instinct? No. God damn it. Eugene was right, though. It is Super Nintendo. I know this game. Can I have another track? Yeah, sure. I actually really like the music from this guy. Oh, this is Sunset Riders. It is Sunset Riders. Good job. Yes. I didn't even get to use any of my fun trivia. I was going to be like, oh, this is from Konami's TMNT arcade engine. But like, <laughs> no, that's cool. I don't need to talk. You just get points. I love this game. It's really fun. It looks pretty fun, actually. I could get on board it's with like, that. It's, it's like right. a Western. That brings our point total to Eugene, three, Steve, two, Justin, one. Going into track eight out of 11, because I'm greedy and I want to get the most out of my Nintendo tunes as I can. <laughs> track number eight comes from my sick, twisted imagination, and away we go. This sounds familiar. Right? I think if like anyone's... For a minute. If no. anyone's going to get this, I think it's going to be Justin. Oh, no. Based on history. History. Is this Game Boy? Nope. Justin, what's our system? Mr. Signature. Well, it's either NES or Retro Game. Would you like a second track? Wait Please. a second, wait a second, wait a second. Yes. Um, I can't tell you exactly which one it is. It's got to be one of the Game Gear or Master System Sonic the Hedgehog games from Sonic. I kind of want the full name, but no one's going to get it closer than that. So <sighs> do I give it to you? Or like, do I, I make you work for I it? Just, unless, unless it's Triple Trouble and we can share a point. It is triple trouble, so I guess oh, you're sharing. God. Oh my right. god! So, <laughs> so, so Justin sure, gets a half of Justin gets a half a point. At a point, he gets a half a point. Just give Justin <laughs> a point. 
No, I feel like, <laughs> okay, Justin gets a full point. Steve gets a half a point okay. in my head. All right. So that brings us up to two and a half for Steve and two for Justin. And, so he's and, still in last. And, and I have to say, Steve, you actually helped me because when you mentioned the sound font, I'm like, wait, no, this is a Master System sound font. So, <laughs> hey, yeah, good good going, team. Steve. All right. We're going on track number nine. So shut your pie holes and listen up. Is this a Lucas? This is a Lucas. Ooh. Is this Starlink? Nope. Um, it sounded space. You're giving, you're giving Ubisoft way too much credit for their music. Like, <laughs> it sounded spacey. I was going to say, pretty much their music all sounds like every action movie out there. And I don't know what else you played besides Starlink. <laughs> Um, I'm having a hard time with this one. Um, is this a Switch game? No. Would you like a second track? Yeah, let's. Oh. Oh. Is this Medios? Nope. Damn. No, I didn't want to. I'll give you a really good hint if you want it. Do you want it? I do. Maybe. Oh, I do. Tell me that you want it. Um, it is the or it was the ninth best-selling game on the GameCube. Oh my God, ninth. Okay, so it's. Let's think. Let's think. Herbie's Air Ride. Nope. I would have killed you. It's definitely not Kirby's Air Ride. Um, <laughs> um, 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 so it's not Smash Bros. Is it um, Super Monkey Ball? Is it um, is it a Nintendo like a game? Track. Um, it was published by Nintendo. How about another track? Is this some weird ass track in Donkey Konga? Nope. Is it F Zero GX? Nope. Is it Star Fox Assault? Nope. I'm actually really disappointed you guys haven't gotten this by now. I love this game. Can't think of anything else that was published by Nintendo but not developed by Nintendo. It sounds a lot like Bit Trip Void. Void. Obviously, it's not because that was a weekend. I mean, I want to say, I want to say, like, gosh, I don't know what the hell this would be. GameCube. Is this Crazy Animal Crossing? No, it's not Animal Crossing. This is Animal Crossing. Oh, I hate. Oh, you. come it's, on! It's, no, 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 no! It's not. I was laughing at the idea that it is Animal oh, Crossing. Oh, okay. I was like, where is no, this? Oh. Cause, cause suddenly All of a sudden, everyone it. just freaked out. <laughs> well, I just realized how much it sounds like Wait. the DJ KK music. Is this Space Station 9 or whatever? I could give you the developer, and I think that would give it away, but this is Nintendo Tunes, so I'm going to play the title music instead, and if any of you have played it, you should get it from this. Okay. Okay. Oh, is this Mario Party? This, Mario Party 4? Mario Party 5? No. Is this Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door? It is. Justin Damn coming it! in with three points! Damn it! <sighs> Alright, so what the hell was it? That, was that like battle music or something? Yeah, I like... that music. Um, the first... Let me pause this. You picked a the very, one, very good music. <laughs> I actually just picked music I like. The first one was Twilight Town, where you meet Vivian and become a shadow and fight Dupless. Okay. Um, the second one was the moon base theme when you go to the moon, obviously. And the third one <laughs> was the fight against part. the third one was the fight against the Magnus von Grapple, which was the giant robot in the puny tree, which was like the second world. The Hoonie what? I never the actually Hoonie. finished Thousand Year Door. That's one of it's my shelf of shame. Solid. Games. Solid. Oh, it's amazing. And but yeah. you know, like I stopped playing it for a while, and then you just kind of lose everything. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, this last one comes from Phantom, sort of. So do with that what you will. 
Um, sort but of. It, it is Phantom's Patreon choice. So enjoy the music, my friends. Can oh, also, I should mention we have two games left. Uh, Steven, or Justin and Eugene are tied at three each. Steve is only a half a point behind at two and a half. So it is literally. Oh, my minutes. God. Back <laughs> number 10 out of 11, gentlemen. Enjoy. <laughs> Hyrule Warriors. Nope. It's not Mario Kart. I'm going to guess... D that DDR is... Mario Mix? No, that's not right. <laughs> yeah, that sounds very oh, so much like uh, Mario music. Is this like Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games? Nope. No, that's Zelda. What's wrong with you guys? This is Zelda. <laughs> Why did you guys this? Is, I don't know because I'm, gonna, I'm trying to think of like compilation things that's not the actual thing, okay? Alright, all right, um, I'm gonna throw this out there just in case. Is this Smash Ultimate? Nope. Okay. Uh, that would be really mean of me. Yeah, you've done it before. I know. <laughs> I'm still bitter. How is, is this a. How is this a, a, a phantom game, but a is kind this, of a phantom game? Is this a Guitar Hero game that has the custom tracks that you can make? It is not. I'm going on to track number two. I've... Is this Sports Swords Adventures? Nope. Oh, no, 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 no. Shit, shit, shit. It's, it's... Oh, Does God Steven damn. know it? I can see Link Between Worlds. Nope. I really want to go to track three. Can I just go straight to track three? Because it's going to be a mind-blowing experience for you guys. I'm pretty upset right now. Okay, I'm really upset right now. Why the hell do I know this music? Where the <laughs> hell is this one from? <laughs> I'm really upset right now. Uh, is, is this Nintendo Land? Is oh, is Tetris it, hey. DS. Nope. Mario 3D um, World? Nope. Mario Nintendo Land. Uh, no, no, none of those. I wrote to Phantom and I wrote, Congratulations, you got the trolliest music in Nintendo. <laughs> Let's go to track number four. Oh, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like the system this game is on? Sure. 3DS. Wii U, 3DS, and PC. PC? But I don't believe any of this music was on the PC version. Is this Minecraft? Nope. Um, Minecraft doesn't have Zelda. I'm so angry right now. Is this Puzzles Dragons? Nope. Oh, oh god there damn wasn't it. A, no. there wasn't a you guys are just skating around this, though. Alright, developer. Uh, before I do developer, all of the music you've heard so far is from DLC. Oh, shit. Oh, no. This is one of the Pushmo games. No! No? You seem so confident, no! But, but... Pushmo has only been on 3DS. I can... Wait, 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 wait. Picross 3DS? Nope. I can give you one of the developers, which right. might give it away if you know this stuff, or I can give you the title screen music, which I think would be a bigger boon to Steve than anyone else. What do you guys want to do? I, I want the music. I want the music. I want the music. This is new okay. Time. I'm indifferent, so. I honestly think Steve's going to walk away with this one, but let's see. Is this Monster Hunter? Nope. Smash 3DS? Okay, one of the developers for this game was Dimps. I know that name. They've worked on a lot of games for this one company. Mostly handheld versions of the games. Jesus. The other developer was Sonic Team. Come on! Is this Sonic and... Or 
Sonic All Stars Racing something or other? No! What is this? I really want Steve to get it! <laughs> oh! Sonic Lost World! There you go! <laughs> God, what is really Sonic fun. Lost World? It has it a, a game on the level, and it I didn't know there was a 3DS version of that. But uh, yeah, there, there yeah, was, it and was yeah, awesome. the the it had a um yeah the 3DS <laughs> thought, but yeah, it had a Zelda DLC level and a um Yoshi's Island DLC level. I had forgotten that that game even had DLC. I had forgotten um, that game existed. This is the, the worst request, round of Nintendo's ever. The request from Phantom was that um, because he posted really late, he said just pick any Sonic song. So oh, I, I decided I would pick the trolliest Sonic music I could find and make it interesting. Um, so we have one left. Literally, the only difference is Steve has a half a point more than you guys. So whoever wins this wins the whole pot. Um, I feel like I planned this, but I promise I didn't. <laughs> Track number 11 is actually pretty evenly matched. I think any one of you could get this. And I'm going to start with a really trolly one that I think if you played the game all the way through, you'll know it. I'm so scared right now. Uh-huh. Also, copyright. I spent it in Celine Dion, Celine Dion. Does this sound like Celine Dion? Is this the Walking Dead season one? Good guess, but no. Give me another track before somebody else gets it. It's a really pretty song, though, but okay. Yeah, I'm enjoying it, actually. Share that with me. we Will do. I'm leaning forward as though that's going to help. Give it some time. It's got to yeah, pick up. Those earphones, Steve. <laughs> Ooh. Suddenly it sounds like Donkey Kong Country Returns, but that doesn't have any vocals. All I can think of is Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate right now. No, we're done with Monster Hunter, Steve. We're done with Monster Hunter. <laughs> Let it go. Does now, the main character wear gloves? Sometimes, but you can choose that. And you're sure it's not Monster Hunter? <laughs> not Monster Hunter. <laughs> Death Road to Canada. It's not a little old for Death Road to Canada. Older game. Noted. I mean, not old old, but not Death Road new. Can't hear the tunes from Nintendoons. <laughs> That's the point, so you don't get it. How about another track? All right. How about system? Um, it's been on a few systems. The only Nintendo system it's been on that I know of was Wii U. Oh, God. Which is what I played it on. So it's a Wii U game. I'm liking it, whatever it is. It was a really solid game all the way around. Yeah, good soundtrack, even. Genre? Um, kind of just an action adventure. Is this... Uh, is, this, <laughs> is this Assassin's Creed? Black Flag. No! Oh, damn it. I didn't want to come out with an Assassin's Creed game without having at least one other. Ah! Just to get wrong. But there's that, Gentlemen. There's that signature Ubisoft music. Action movie style music. Right. Gentlemen, Justin won two rounds of Nintendoons in a row. <laughs> no, he didn't. Two rounds in a row for shows he's been on. For shows Jeez. that I didn't host is consecutive. It's that it's that shirt, man. It's lucky. I'm good wearing Justin. <laughs> oh, well, good job, gentlemen. That was thoroughly enjoyable for me. Steve, thank you for swapping weeks with me. Um, I had a blast. No, if thank you. If you would like. Steve, thank time. you for swapping spit with me. 
Uh, if you would like to contribute to Nintendoons, all it takes is two bucks a month. Everybody's got two bucks a month. Go to patreon.com slash Nintendo Radio. Go give us some games. We'll do literally anything. I will play games <laughs> guys that aren't even games. Like you can just make up words and I'll find music for it. We so. have that recorded. Lucas will do literally anything for your money. For two dollars. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> hey. Awesome. Does anybody need to take a break here before question? Oh, hey, that fixed the color. My little dance just fixed the color on my video. Oh, I can <laughs> finally turn you guys down. The music was quiet, so I had to bump the music way up, and then I couldn't hear you speak, so I had to turn you way up, too, so I could turn everything. It's like, Nintendoons is just like having noises screaming in my ear. Yeah, when we're not live, like during the meeting tonight, let's talk about, like, options. Yeah, well, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll upgrade the show. I'm going to have to research for sure, but, yeah, I think that it's time. Yeah, if you listen to the last couple where I host and you host, Lucas hosts, it's a problem. I'm glad to hear it's not just me, because it seems like, yeah. I, I think it's because I'm hosting. I notice I, it so much more. Right. I've been and, battling it for a few hosts now, and I thought, oh, I thought it was just me. That was mine. I, yours I, yours is fine? Everybody's, well, everybody's is kind of bad, because when you start talking, it really quiets well, down. Yeah, but but I, just, I just thought I, that was I just I wonder like, how much of that is Zoom. Well, but we didn't have the same problem when we used. Um, yeah, that's true. Else. Hangouts. Yeah. Yeah. So. Anyway, this is not Infendo solves our problems live on the air. This is Infendo Radio. So, <laughs> so Get yeah, back to um, Infendo Radio. We do have the one question block question. Does anybody care to take that one? Otherwise, I can take it. No big deal. I mean, I want to, but I also hosted Nintendo, so I probably shouldn't. I would have oh. taken it if I didn't have a news, <clears throat> but since I had news. I don't care. I can take it, but I do have run, one request. Um, after question block, can we do an impromptu uh, everybody votes segment so I can talk about the worst game of all time? <laughs> yes. Yeah, because he shouldn't waste his entire change the system. Right. I was going to say, I can do it during change the system, but you're going to need to Oh, did you question. actually stream that yeah, let's, garbage? Let's, I, di I didn't let's... stream it. I didn't have time to set up the capture and everything. But, but you played it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I God. think I think that should be a separate segment from Change the System. So after, yeah, yeah, we'll do okay. Change the System, and then we'll just do a quick intro, and we can yeah, be like, sorry. "Hey, guess what? You guys decided Steve is the least favorite yeah. person." Sorry, so. sorry to spring that on you mid-show, but I that's cool. Well, I then let's do that. let's do let's get question block out of the way first, and then we'll let you have your um, time, and then <laughs> we'll go into question block, and then we'll end the show if that works for you. That works. Cool. So I'm examining so I, this. I assume you meant question blocks. Here. Everybody votes and then changes. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. I, I thought I heard that too and I was confused, but I wasn't going to sound stupid. That's, that's why I wanted to be quiet hear. about it. <laughs> You'll let me sound stupid. Yes, that's <laughs> usually my plan. It's like, Steve will say something if there's a problem. <laughs> I'm going to ask. What can I say? All right, Steve, I'm going to play the music and then I'll let you um, lead us in. Let's okay. see, how about this song? Might have done that one already, actually. I think a good that's... song, Eugene. Yeah, yeah I've, I've, I've definitely heard that one. So you know we can't hear you, right? <laughs> like, I'm just realizing that, like, we could be doing this, and then you could play the music. There, there we go. I, I, see, I think, you, I think it's a bit, but, like, you guys are legit. Like, you can't hear shit. <laughs> We're not that meta. We can't pretend that we're not hearing music when we are and say that we're hearing it. Like, that's just one level too. <laughs> How is our volume? It's good. It's good. It doesn't like it's good. good. All right, Steve. Um, you know the drill. I'm about to mute my ass. Let me make a... What's weird about this artwork, uh, now, that I'm looking at it, too. now that I'm looking at it, is um, there are a few characters that are missing from the leaked artwork maybe it's not complete mm -hmm. no but I all mean, right like, all right all right here we go here we go okay. we're we're changing the system we're, we're question blocking music's coming let's do it <laughs> and we're back from nintendo tunes justin has scored his second win in recent weeks which is fantastic congratulations 
Um, and I don't think I have any hope of catching up to the rest of you, but hey, you know, whatever you're catching up with. Lasted. You're catching <laughs> up with boy. Me. You're, you're halfway there. Um, you've got four wins for the year. Um, but we're going to move on to our next segment, which is called Question Block, which is where patrons of the three dollar tier get to ask us a question to torture us with. Um, and you can become a subscriber over at patreon.com slash Infendo Radio. Um, today, the one and only Phantom asks us, there are a ton of free-to-play games that have been released or are releasing in the future on Switch. I have personally sunk a ton of time into Paladins and Arena of Valor, so I'm wondering what everyone's free-to-play game is, or what's everyone's free-to-play game, excuse me. Favorite free-to-play game? Yeah, favorite free-to-play game. I assume he means on Switch, but I guess we could extend that to free-to-play game otherwise after. I know you, jeans. Pokemon <laughs> Go every day! Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Yeah, I oh, well, yeah, I mean, if you want to include that. that. Is Might as well. I mean, it's still Nintendo, you know? Yeah. We're a Nintendo show, so let's just keep it in the Nintendo spec. Well, my original thought was actually Fortnite, even though I don't play it anymore of the three oh. big Switch games that have been released. That was probably the one that I enjoyed the most. Yeah, um, I, I haven't gone back to, because I never see any of you guys play like i saw a couple of our uh, infrendos playing fortnite when the show first started so but for the most part i don't see anybody playing fortnite or paladins i haven't even booted up arena valor but I had, a, I had a lot of fun with both fortnite and paladins like i'm not a big shooter game person i'm not usually good at them but i was got really good at paladins now I'm really confused because wasn't Rocket League free to play? No. Do we have no. to buy Rocket League? Buy that. Yeah, you bought that. I am remembering that incorrectly. I was like, <laughs> I was like, he's gonna say Rocket League. Don't Don't try try it. Rocket I, League. I bought that game when it first came out, and then the week later it went on sale, and I was pissed. Well, that's, really, <laughs> yeah. that's really okay. So that's really scummy because they do the loot boxes, and now they have like a pass, like a season pass. That should have been a free game, man. Like, that's a lot of stuff they're asking you to buy. Okay. There goes my answer. Um, yeah, that's, right. that's, that's why I was so confused. I'm like, what do you mean, really? I'm like, what are you I was, I was like, I was like, I was like, how is he not saying this? Like, he plays it all the time. Okay, so I guess, yeah, out of the free-to-play games that are on the Switch, like, I haven't touched Fallout. You saw my thing about Pokemon mm-hmm. and how it's, like, garbage-level death. Um, not not Pokemon Go, not Pokemon Go. Pokemon. Yo, I know Pokemon Cube oh, of horror thing. Yeah. Wait, I that forgot game. about that too. That's, <laughs> that's, that's a game that, that doesn't exist. For like Ten minutes and and so like your favorite I, one, then I guess. I think you're... my favorite would be Paladins. Um, I like it more than Fortnite. I um, it brings back a lot of old time Splitter vibes for me. I love playing healer. I love having a competent tank and a competent you know everything else around. Uh, make my life good, and I like the character design. I think it's a lot of fun. I know it's a knockoff of Overwatch or something, but like I got Paladins, so Paladins is my Overwatch, and it's a cool game. Yeah, I, de- and definitely, you know, you guys want to play it again, you know, I'll I'll join you, because I haven't played that in a long time. I jumped into Fortnite a couple of nights ago and forgot how much I loved that game. Mm-hmm. Uh, not nearly as much fun to play solo, as far as, as, far as I, you know, can tell, but... Um, I haven't even uh, touched Arena of Valor, so I can't speak on that. But. I'm going to go with a cheater it. answer here. I didn't like it so much. Go um, ahead. So I, I'm going to go with a cheater answer here. It's not really free to play, but it was free for me to play it when I got it, when I pre-ordered, I think, Wind Waker or whatever, and I got, like, the Master Quest um, oh, disc yeah. or whatever. Master Quest was probably the best free thing that I ever got. Like, it was so is, freaking awesome. That is such a ridiculous problem. answer. <laughs> what's, your favorite, what's your favorite free-to-play game? Oh, Green of Time Master Quest. <laughs> That aside, I guess we would say Pokemon Go for you. Yeah. Because, Definitely um, Pokemon Go. Every day. I mean, I'm starting to play more Pokemon Go now that I actually get out of the house. Um, But um, I think as far as, like, Nintendo mobile free-to-play games, I honestly spend a lot more time on Miitomo. Oh, yeah. Miitomo. And I realized it wasn't really a game, and I realized, you know, it got kind of repetitive towards the end, and they weren't really doing any worthwhile updates. 
but I would log in there every day. I'd have conversations. I'd answer the questions. I'd make profile pictures in me photo. Like, and I eventually, I think, ended up spending about five bucks on something in, in me Tomo. So could I make one last recommendation and cut Steve off completely in the process? Oh, definitely. Um, there's a free to play game that I played a lot of back in the day. I don't really touch it anymore, but um, because I get like the max level online competitively, and that was really exciting for me. But um, Pokemon Duel is a really cool mobile game that if you haven't played it, it's based pretty strongly off of the old Pokemon trading figure game. It's a really solid like strategy kind of figure based game. And I totally um, forgot about I, like, I, I, yeah, yeah, like, I downloaded like, that when you and Mike were to were like really into it and yeah. I've never booted it up. It, like I have never like I don't play games like to that level of competitiveness where I'm like I'm going to hit the top level. I hit the top level. Like I really like that game enough <sighs> to like push past all these other players in the real world to get like the top top rank like i never do that but, like i right. love that game so much if that game was more accessible like if that game came to switch and i could play it with you guys without having to like everyone downloads and we search for each other in a random room with a friend code and like if i could just play that game i'd be playing it all the time on switch so mm -hmm. like that's a really solid game i recommend you try it if you're looking for a new mobile game and you're into kind of strategy ish you know spinning dice and turn based and all that stuff so Give it a go. For sure. All I got awesome. to say about that. Awesome. All right. Um, well, if you want to leave us a question for the question block, you can too by going to Infendo Radio. Wait. Patreon.com slash Infendo Radio and join us for the $3 tier or more. We are going to be right back and we're going to talk about the games we've been playing in Change the System. One of us more than others. <laughs> Okay, let me make a note here. Steve, would you like a little like introduction before you go into it? Would you like to do it? Would you like us to do it? Or like, what's the plan? I can do it. All right. Yeah, I figure. I figure we're gonna. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about the tier anyway. Hey, yeah, I um, figure. I think. I figure I'll play the music, Steve, and then you can be like, you know, just before about to say, play the music from the Atari game, like the title music from it. Oh God, Jesus, is that a thing? I, if I can find it in this real quick, isn't it just oh, like yeah. dun, 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 dun. No, I mean it, the the um, intro music is the flying theme from the movie, but in uh, horrible Atari style. <laughs> just a friendly reminder to anybody who might be listening live right now that our patreon the ten dollar patreon tier is still up the vote for this month is somebody has to do their entire Nintendo tunes in a silly accent of their choosing so yeah. and that's, that's thing. exciting and i'm gonna repeat that in the actual segment so the regular listeners can hear it too well will it still be live though i guess yeah because well, yeah time. yeah so yeah, yeah. yeah. okay Okay. Yeah, you, you can play that in since it's a special segment. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I just need to download it real quick, so just give me a second. Boy, I really... You're just uh, getting made, all the copyrights tonight. <laughs> I really made this show hard for you, didn't I, Eugene? <laughs> Luckily, I can uh, work quickly on my toes. Steve. <laughs> oh, jeez. Guys, I will say, though, I didn't have one internet hiccup when I was hosting Nintendo's tonight. Probably because right. you have a decent this Wi-Fi computer on that laptop. This computer is the answer, man. Yeah. Like, the answer to all You're my problems. You're making me want to spend a $700 on a computer, and I don't need it, dog. All right? I know. I just, really I just have spent when, 500 I Hopefully, we'll get it back this week. When you told me that you were jealous of this computer that I wanted to get, I was like, I got to get this computer. Like, <laughs> the man knows his hardware, and I want this <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's uh, it, it it is a monster of a machine. So congrats, dude. I'm I'm happy you finally got something that works for you. You definitely deserve it. It's so nice. Plus, now I can do Infendo Radio without feeling like a parasite to you guys. So that's all. <laughs> oh God, I think I found it. Okay, here we go. Um, Steve, this is your music. You should know it well. Mm -hmm. Um, B button is on. Can you hear it? Yeah, I can hear it. <laughs> it's like on an endless. It's like on an endless loop of I hate this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I played this game on an Atari in high school, and I it frustrated the crap out of me. Like, to <laughs> yeah. the point where I think I actually threw the controller. So, so Steve, I'm going to mute myself in here in a second. Landfill? <laughs> it's not Albuquerque, it's Almagordo. Steve, I am going to uh, mute myself. Uh, I'm going to mute myself. And okay, play this music, and then you can just um, say, "Hey, before you know, before we get to change the system, I'm going to talk about this garbage or whatever." You know. So, okay. <laughs> all right, here we go. Well, guess what, everybody? We get a surprise segment today. Um, our ten dollar Patreon tier is the Everybody Votes channel, and last month's vote was who gets the distinct honor of playing the most amazing game of all time, <laughs> E.T. for the Atari. And by the way, if you want to uh, vote for this month's, which will still be live, even if you're listening to this on the podcast, you can do that over at patreon.com slash radio. Oh, where do I start with this game? <laughs> which you can hear from the amazing music behind me. It, you know... Just a testament. I, I can only take so much of this music too. I'm about to ch- yeah, cut it I out. Say, you can, you can <laughs> shut it off because I, <laughs> I cringe hearing this music. Um, this game is terrible. I, I, I'm used to like Nintendo games. You boot a game up, you run right, you get hit by an enemy. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I need to jump there, right? No, that's not what happens here. <laughs> you, drop, you drop down onto the home screen. You can go any direction you want, and the first thing you do is walk to the next screen and fall in a hole that you didn't even realize was there. <laughs> Random shapes. The entire game is green. Like, it was awful. I wandered around for probably a good 15 minutes just trying to figure out what I was doing. And there's these guys. Ch- I got no clue what's going on, right? There's these guys? Well, haven't you seen so- the movie? Yeah, yeah. I think I was like Grimace oh, from McDonald's oh, yeah. or something. So let's talk about that for a sec. I fucking hate the movie to begin with. <laughs> because Direct the game, your hate mail to Steve at Infendo.com. I didn't think there was something worse than the movie out there. I was clearly wrong. Um, I finally looked up Dang. a YouTube video on how to play this game. And evidently those are FBI agents and scientists that are chasing you. And... <laughs> You're supposed to collect camera. I never saw a camera piece the whole time I was playing the game. <laughs> so, yeah, great game. Um, it needs to be reburied or like oh, dropped in a vat of cement and dropped at the bottom of the ocean. I, I, I just. Ha- <laughs> I have We're to. I was talking Steve. about. Oh, go, 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 go. I, I was just going to say, I have to know, Steve. So. Are you still planning on beating this game? <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Wasn't there a remake like, for like Game Boy Advance? Maybe we should play that next. <laughs> no, because yeah. I'm gonna have to play it. I just exactly. want to point out that well, we will, I, will, I will leave the show for that month and then come back the following month after the vote. We, we 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 always talk about these games we play, and they're always games we wanna play because we're not like doing them for the show, we're just playing <laughs> games. So they're always good games that we enjoy. It's so refreshing to hear Steve talk about something. He <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, we'll have. To, yeah. I, I'm. I'll have. We'll have to get you to stream it at least for a little bit so that we can fulfill our Patreon obligation. Yeah. And I will gladly oh tune into God. that. Yeah, I don't know if it'll be a live stream. I might just have to do a capture and upload it stream. <laughs> Yeah, fine. Anyway, I'll make a deal. I'll make a deal with you. You capture it, and you capture you talking over it. I'll edit it. I'll, I'll put it all together. You, you don't even have to splice it together. My headset and capture card can already do that. You just gotta make. <laughs> okay. I will make it perfect. All right, Steve. Well, tell me about some games that didn't make you want to gouge your eyeballs out. Holy crap! So. Another game that is both incredibly frustrating and incredibly satisfying. Well, this game is actually incredibly satisfying, not just frustrating. Um, I've been playing Runner 3 again. Um, I think I mentioned a couple weeks ago I found a physical copy. That physical copy rests in my game case with all my other games, and I have it digitally as well. Um, 
but holy crap runner three is so much fun um the titles of the games it's like you know 14 year old high school humor or the titles of the levels excuse me it's like 14 year old high school humor there's a character in the game called oh what's his name i think it's wet fart deep funk but the way that okay. they spell it is w-h-e-t f-a-r-d-t and then you know deep funk um <laughs> Yeah, it's really cool. That game has these levels in there that are called Impossible Challenges. I think I died 132 times on the first Impossible level. And I didn't get more than about six seconds into it. So, so what you're saying is the Impossible levels are fairly easy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And according to the developers, it's actually possible to beat it. I don't know if I believe that. Um, and then it, you know, it's got these retro levels and from what I understand from reading ahead that each world has its own distinct type of retro game. I don't know if they're all the same. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. The music is good. It's one of those games and that, uh, kind of like what Donkey Kong Country Returns and Tropical Freeze did where you get distracted looking at the backgrounds because there's so much going on and it's so fun to look at. Hmm. Um, I was doing a level on Saturday while I was uh, in my office waiting for calls to come in. And you're in a minecart. So it's kind of like a Donkey Kong Country minecart level, except for the minecart is on a track that's spinning around this mountain looking thing. And the mountain actually turns and looks at you and makes faces at you while you're playing it. But then in the gem variant of the level, which is like the hard mode of the level, you still go up that track with the mountain. But then this lightning storm starts and, you know, you've got the lightning striking to distract you. Um, you've got, you can see that mountain in the background. Um, it's got mist to kind of obscure your vision to make it harder to see. Like, there's just so much that they put into that game. Um, so, yeah, so still really enjoying that. Um, I would recommend it to anybody that likes, um, I guess it, Technically, it would be endless runners, even though the, uh, you know, these are distinct levels that have an end. Um, but if you like endless runner style games, it's a really, really good game. Amazing soundtrack. Um, the other game that I've been playing a lot of is Monster Hunter. So, and first and foremost, thank you so much to Lucas and Phantom for putting up with me and my damn Astalos quest. Oh my I don't god! Even, I don't. Even, how many Astalos do you think we've hunted? I think last time I checked, we were at nineteen. And that was it's, before last night. It's a freaking lot. We hunted a lot of Astalos and we well, hunted a lot of Gormagal. So, so understand this. Um, Lucas and Mike taught me how to play Monster Hunter back on 3DS on Monster Hunter Generations. And I put like 60 hours into it then. Um, when we played on the 3DS, Lucas and Mike helped me farm Astalos then to get my low rank armor set. And then they did it again because we started to work on my high rank set. And then the, the Switch version was announced, and I stopped playing. We well, ditched this, you and left you all alone. Yeah, and I wasn't going to play it by myself. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, so then the Switch version comes out. And, you know, again, we had to hunt Astalos to get my armor, because that's the only armor I will wear. And then they helped me get my high rank Astalos, my regular high rank Astalos armor. Set. And then Lucas says, let's do this event quest. Because there's a, what did you want? You wanted the shirt, the Astalos. I wanted the jacket. I wanted yeah. that nice looking Uniqlo yeah. jacket. You wanted the <laughs> Uniqlo jacket. So we do this quest. I see what the armor looks like. And I'm like, oh no, here we go again. So now I'm on my third Astalos armor just in this game alone. And I looked ahead to see what the G rank armor for Astalos looks like. I'm not that impressed. So hopefully the Uniqlo armor will take me through the, through the uh, end of the game. It probably will. It's pretty good so, armor. But yeah, so I've been playing a crap ton of Monster Hunter. We've hunted Astalos. We've hunted Gormagala. What was that other one we talked about earlier, Lucas? Uh, Rajang. Rajang. We're hunting soon. Was, he's, we're going to hunt him tonight, hopefully. Um, good. I am going to be capturing some videos. I know we've been streaming that game a little bit here and there. I'm going to be doing some captures because there's a couple people at work. I'm trying to get them convinced to play it, so I'm going to capture some video loaded onto my laptop but uh, steve we've hunted we've hunted 24 astalos is that all that's all just 24 hunts you know well and that's <laughs> not counting the two 
I think I think there was two that we lost and one we abandoned. Yeah. No, there was two that we yeah, put a lot of put a lot of time into one monster in this game. This is the long story short for all of you yeah. out there. So yeah, so that is everything I've been playing, and then of course the most amazing game of all time. Thank you for our patrons for subjecting <laughs> me to that. <laughs> I guess. Well, um, who wants to take next? Does anybody want to jump in on what they've been playing? Um, well, I can jump in real quick with what I haven't been playing, and this is a special bonus for the people of you watching the video. I pulled a few accessories out for one of my Nintendo systems. Unfortunately, I didn't pull them out soon enough to play, but I have everything I need to play some Four Swords Adventures with my kids. So I'm um, looking forward to doing that in the, hopefully within the coming week. Um, I'm probably not going to take very long because I have a job, so I have not had a whole lot of time to play games. But I have uh, played a few games of just regular board game style games of, of Super Mario Party. Definitely liking that. Uh, definitely uh, reminds me of the old N64 Mario Party games with a hint of like some of the like GameCube and and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm liking Super Mario Party. I don't know what else to say about it that, you know, especially Lucas, who's played a lot more of it than I have, hasn't already said. But uh, unlike Lucas... Um, I'm not playing it by myself, so <laughs> I might have gotten a choice little bit more of being out of it. A, choice of being an only child. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. But, yeah, I mean, I've... Uh, let's see, I'm playing Super Mario Odyssey now. Um, oh, we should talk about the uh, Splatfest, which uh, is the first I've participated in in a while. And, uh, I did we were... play that as well, I forgot. Yes, we we were all on Team Treat and Team Treat won, and we had a pretty yeah. good streak going for a while. And the three of us and and Steve's wife were all playing together. So, uh, did everybody hit Queen? Uh, uh, I did. I don't think I did. So just me I, you and my wife. But I only played, you know, at night, so I didn't get a chance to play during the day. Um, I downloaded okami hd because hey. it was on sale i have not played it yet so don't hey. ask me what i think of it <laughs> what do you think of it um i played some <laughs> rocket league with did i play it with you guys or did i play it with schnazzy I must have played it with i want to say schnazzy okay so i played some rocket league with schnazzy i don't know you guys are always playing rocket league lately so it's hard for me to remember who i played with and i That's played cool. about an hour's worth of starlink battle for atlas i played until basically the title screen i'm enjoying it um i don't know toys or no toys Toys. Oh, definitely toys. I wanted that. No toys. No toys, boy. I wanted that <laughs> R-Wing. Like, that was, that, was the, that was the primary reason I got it, because I wanted the R-Wing. But um, the game itself is pretty fun. Um, Fox feels kind of shoehorned in, but they do a decent job of giving him enough to do, and they gave him gave him and the Star Fox team their own dialogue, so mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't feel quite so shoehorned in as it really is, but there are certain points where, like, it's very clear the dialogue was directed at one of the main Starlink exclusive characters, but they just wrote a line for Fox that would be appropriate for you know, not actually being there. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so that's really, I mean, that's that's really my, my gaming two weeks, because it's been a while since I've been here. Um, played a little bit of Doki Doki Panic, that's about it. Um, oh, and Legend of Zelda special, because, you know... Mm, starting with that white sword. Yeah, exactly, so... <laughs> um, I'm, all, I'm, I'm one heart away from getting the magical sword, so... Nice. Cool. So well, yeah, basically a lot of little like kind of burst plays for an hour here, hour there. Hopefully, sure. I'll get some more gaming time in the coming weeks. Mm -hmm. 
cool. Well, I'm, I'm going to jump right in because Luigi is about to interrupt. But I'll take your last three seconds and start my own timer and say that I have been playing a lot of things. Um, so let's start. Um, Pokemon Go, you guys don't want to hear about that. Um, I, got, I finally got yeah. my Mewtwo, though, y'all. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Finally nice got that done. Mewtwo. Yeah, I, I it had to battle five strategy. raids before I got that stupid thing because I ran out of balls or whatever else. It was just God, it's bull just, crap. It's just as hard to get as the real one. Yeah, I guess. Some, some bitch, right? Um, what else have I been playing? Let's not talk about Pokemon Go. Let's talk about... Um, okay, actually, I do want, I want, I want to take a, talk about this game called Debris Infinity, because I talked about it a bit last week, and I think I might have called it Debris Infinite, but um, it deserves more time than what I talked about it last week. I'm really enjoying it. Um, okay, so Debris Infinity, I wish I knew how much it was, because I actually got it as a, as a review code. I believe that there is a review on the site um, right now, because one of our other writers got her a code as well. In any case, it is fun. If you like um, ever played Geometry Wars, pick this game up. Um, it, it it can't be more than like five or ten dollars or something like that. It it I've gotten a lot of, yeah. Thank you very much, Steve. I've gotten a lot of um, fun out of it. I, I think I said last week that it's my pooping game. It's evolved into my pooping and um, downtime game. So like I I'll take I'll now take it with me after I'm done pooping and set it on the counter. And then maybe play with it. Play it a little bit. Yeah, After five bucks. What is it? <laughs> well, you know, sometimes. Um, the Yeah, for five bucks, yeah, totally worth it. So think of it as Geometry Wars, I guess, meets um, Asteroids. Because there are, like, you know, Asteroids that come at, you and come at you and you shoot them and then they break into smaller Asteroids. But then as you progress further into the game, there are different elements that happen, kind of like Geometry Wars, right? right? So then there's, like, this, I think, purple thing. I don't know what damn color it is. And it just starts, <laughs> like, following you around the damn screen. Kind of like, I think, the triangle in... Um, um, geometry wars if i remember correctly but yeah it's got a lot of um, uh, a lot of elements that are similar to it the only thing i don't quite understand or quite frankly like about it is the upgrade system because every so often and i think it's points based but every so often you get new a new gun right but it seems random so i wish that there was like a way where okay like i get this um new gun upgrade but i get to keep it or i get to choose what that upgrade is or whatever you know um, but other than that, it's fantastic. The music is great. It actually seems to have quite a bit of production value behind it. So um, yeah, Debris Infinity. Go check that out. Five dollars, four ninety nine. Um, other games I've been playing. Um, Super Mario Party. Man, this is a good Mario Party, y'all. It is really freaking good. And I'm gonna say that I haven't even touched the traditional board game elements of it at all. Really? Um, uh -huh. Wow. Yeah, so um, See, I, I went to unlock the last board or two before I got into the other stuff. So that's why I've been doing that part. Sure. Well, um, yeah, so I, I ended up taking it to um, a buddy's house on Sunday after the soccer games because I, you know, I have soccer on Sunday. We go, we all go and play. And then after soccer, we go and watch football or whatever other sporting event is on and, you know, hang out. Um, this time I ended up bringing my switch and I. Um, I brought it. I brought the dock. We hooked it up to his other TV that he had going on. And that ended up being the center of attention most of the time yeah. is Mario Party. We played all... Uh, basically, we just rotated through the minigame mode. So I don't remember what they're called. But um, the, the favorite was the one where um, you're trying to fill up the board with your color or whatever after doing a certain mm -hmm. minigames. And yeah. it, it, it's it's cool, and that that even has like that random Mario Partiness to it, right? Because certain rounds might be worth two, or certain I'm rounds might be bad. sorry, Luigi. Certain rounds might steal a tile from somebody or two tiles. I mean, it, it, it's great. I I really like Mario Party a lot. It is a lot of fun. I'm going to be putting a lot of time into this. This is kind of like an evergreen game, right? Like I'm I'm not going to always be playing it, but it's always going to be there to play. So, mm -hmm. um other than that, and I know I hit my timer, but I'm going to talk about Dark Souls. Um, Dark Souls on the <laughs> Switch, guys, is amazing. It, I know that I've heard from other people that it doesn't run as good as on the other consoles, yada, yada, yada. You know what? I don't really care. I have Dark Souls on my Switch. Um, to my eyes, it plays better or, or as good as 
or better than the version I played previous, which was on the Xbox 360. So, like, I don't really... I mean, I don't see any difference. And I have it in my handheld, guys, so it's great. Um, so I, I'm not going to go too deep into the Dark Souls talk because I've talked about this game before. But what is great about having this game remastered and re-released on the Switch is there's a lot of people playing it. So what's cool about that is that um, Dark Souls is a, is a single-player game, but it has multiplayer games, uh, multiplayer yeah. elements built into it. So I will be walking around into my world and I can see like, you know, signs on the ground and it'll say, okay, maybe there is a secret here because you can like leave messages and stuff like that. And there's a ton of messages throughout this game because there's a lot of people playing it. Like I remember when I was playing on the 360, like they were like few and far between, but now there's a bunch of cool stuff. Like you, so you can rate message, you can leave your own messages and get, and those get rated. You get, you know, cool. Um, you get like, um, Estes flask upgrades when you when you get that um, rate message rated, people can enter your game and there's a ton of people that are wanting to enter the game again because you know it's a brand new game. So like I'm having a lot of fun, either getting help with certain um, parts of the game by le putting my sign on the ground or letting people um, enter my or entering people's games and helping them out in certain parts that they're having trouble with. So yeah, having a lot of fun with Dark Souls. Um, I Highly recommend it. It is still a really good game. Um, the only other thing I want to say about it is that I'm pretty sure... So me and Steve were actually looking at this um, off offline the other day. I, I put 55 hours into Dead Cells. I guarantee by the time that my Switch updates after the week of, Dead, of Dark Souls, I'm going to have like definitely eclipse that. So <laughs> my game of the year be before was probably Dead Cells. What does that say for Dark Souls? I don't know about that I, that, uh, I can give a 10-year-old game my game of the year num, but we'll, we'll talk about that as we get closer to November or De December rather. Okay. I'm sorry. I talked a lot. Um, Lucas, please save us. Save us from ourselves. All right. Well, I um, wasn't on the show last week either, and I've kind of got a lot to talk about. So I'm going to try to hurry, but forgive me if I slightly go over. Um, I played a lot of games, and most of them are games other people have already talked about. Splatfest was amazing. I am completely back into Splatoon. Um, also, special shout out to my friend Zaya for playing some before Justin showed up, making it a team of four. We kicked butt, man. We were really good at that game. I was really proud of us. We represented yeah, Team Treat. Justin and Lucas are a really good combination together. Lucas keeps them at the base, and Justin inks everything. Um, I wasn't going to join Team Treat. I was dead set on Team Trick, and I was ready to. I was like, "Sorry, Steve. Sorry, Steve's wife. Like, I'm I'm gonna do my own thing." Then uh, I find out my friend also joined Team Treat, and I was like, "Well, if I join, we have a four person team." So I. Screw what I want. Let's just be friends and hang out. And it was a good decision because we played a lot of Splatoon. And I am fully ready to get back into that game. I love that game. <laughs> um, that aside, I played a little bit of Rocket League with Steve as well and Phantom and whatnot. But uh, not enough to really talk about or mention. Um, I've also been playing Darkest Dungeon again. Uh, I... Mm failed at streaming that a long time ago. I am succeeding in enjoying it without the stream. Um, I am. I created the house Fendo. That's where we all come from. That's our family house. Uh, you, everybody's Everybody's got a character. All of our most frequent sure. listeners and um, our co-hosts and stuff. Uh, Phantom continues yeah, to die. Like, like the cool thing though that you were telling me real quick, when, mm -hmm. when there's the dialogue, in how or in Fendo House. In Fendo. You're in Fendo House. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. That's great. Totally <laughs> but um but no Phantom keeps dying, but I've decided he is Batman in this universe. So all of the rogues, all of the thieves all take up the moniker Phantom. When one dies, another one picks up his place. Eugene <laughs> died very early on. So I created I heard. Eugene. Two Gene died, so I created three also Gene heard. died. So I created four Gene. Which Did not hear right about now. three Gene's death. Did not Jean hear about Three Jean's no death. death. Um, Galatrad was shamefully, he died of a heart attack. And Gentis <laughs> actually just killed over in my last playthrough. I'm really disappointed about uh, that. Justin wins. My, what did we decide my alter ego is going to be? Oh, I forget now, but I'll figure it out again. Oh, what oh, um, again? Peeves, he got, Darkest Dungeon. It's no, like no, a, no, an no, RPG. It was, it was Gentis 1, that's what it was. And then Gentis it was, 1. Yeah, and we'll just right. go Gentis 2, Gentis 3, Gentis 4. But um, Justin was the MVP on that. He's like the like Doctor Strange of that game. He uses the darkness to like attack and everything. He's uh, like a debuffer. Um, 
everyone on his team died except for him, and I managed to get him to escape. And he went mad for a while, but it's all good now. Everything's fine. So that game is a lot. <laughs> um, I, need, I so. totally need to wait for like this and Death Road to Canada to go on sale because uh, they just they both sound interesting. I re-downloaded Pokemon Go, and there's a witch hat Pikachu in my bedroom, so I'm catching that oh. as I talk to you folks. Oh, yes. I'm waiting for that Meltan. Um, but I have more stuff I want to talk about, better stuff. I played Monster Hunter. You guys all heard about that. The game I want to talk about is Starlink, because it's so good, and I love it so much, and I'm so <laughs> happy. I got it last Wednesday, which made last Wednesday a really good night to not be on the show, because I just sat around all day and played Starlink. Man, it's a fun game. Um, it is fun whether you like Star Fox or not. It is amazing if you like Star Fox, and it is the perfect game if you think Star Fox Zero is the best game in the series. Because it just straight rips right from that. Like, as soon as you finish the Fox campaign, they play, like, the theme music from Star Fox Zero as, like, their <laughs> anthem. And I was like, oh, that's so cool! They remembered! But man, <laughs> everything about that game is so great! Um, I'm torn when I'm playing it. Because I want to play as like the Starlink crew and just go oh, through the main story. But I can't not play as Fox. It's been so long since I've played a Star Fox game. So I'm playing through this game mostly just as Fox. He's like level 14. I have like one character who's level 6. Everybody else is level 1. And just like, I'm, I'm just, I'm going with it through as Fox. And I'm just going to play through the whole game. I'll probably start it up again at some point. Start a new file and try to do it like, you know without fox but it's just oh it's so good and every time i get to an area i think i've figured out like I'm, I'm like okay i know what this game's about i put like four or five hours into this um i'm at planets i have to find the planets i have to save them and bring my alliance rating up well no now there's these things called primes that are like giant spider monsters on the planets and those control all the little monsters on the planet so if you really want to do it you got to take down all the towers with all the little monsters and then take down a prime or you can fight a prime at full strength, and it's really hard. I'm like, all right, I know what this is about. I'm going to go cruise around as Fox for a while. I get through a little more of the story, and it's like, oh, now there's these warships in space that send primes to the planet. So you got to go to the planet, take down the towers, take down the primes, and then you can take down the warships. It's so not only growing. <laughs> so not only is this the No Man's Sky game we should have gotten, and the Star Fox game we should have gotten, it's also the in Independence Day game we should have gotten. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic. Dude, like the dog fights in this I was game? just going to ask you, how oh, are the dog yeah. fights? How are the dog oh, fights? So they good. are better um, than Star Fox Zero. It's no, really don't tell fight. me it's these just, things. It's just, it's just free roaming space battles. You'll get into like fights with bandits or aliens and stuff. The battles against the ships are amazing, okay? And I know I'm well over time, but just let me vamp for a minute here. Like, <laughs> you fight these ships, and they've got, like, cannons on them that you've got to take down, like mounted turrets, and there's spaceships attacking you. Your other allies, the other pilots, are with you, like, helping you fight. You take down all the turrets, then they open up these, like, laser cannons you got to take out. Then you got to take down, like, a, a base and go inside of it and destroy it from the inside out and then escape as it's exploding. Like, it's so cool, man. I love it so much. Um, the game is completely solid, and I have nothing bad to say about that. I dislike the whole you got to buy more pilots and buy more ships mm. and stuff. Like, I get it. It's a Toys to Life game, but it's kind of rotten that you make a $60 game and you make it easier for people who have multiple ships so they can play longer and stuff. But, like, if, if you're willing to overlook the business side of it, I've got nothing but positive things to say about the actual game itself. Like, it's can you can you so or can you not confirm that you can turn your gun behind you and shoot be backwards? You can turn your gun behind you and shoot behind you, and it's amazing. Mm. And I will also say that I played for about mm. two minutes physically before I realized that I hate the toys and the R wing looks great sitting in my room, but all I want are the digital downloads so I can get what I need. And so, that's how I've played the entire game. So, so um. You can access the ships and everything without the toys, even if you have the toys? Yeah. Um, well, I assume because I have the R-Wing as a toy, but I don't know if they also gave that to me digitally. I don't own any other toys. I just got all my stuff digitally. But, um, yeah, it's pretty simplistic. I did notice a glitch at the very beginning when I was playing with the toy in the dock right at the beginning. I couldn't switch ships. It was locking me into one ship. 
And as soon as I took the controller off and I put it back on the switch, it let me use hmm. my digital shifts. So I think when you're using a physical toy, you're locked into that toy. But as soon as you commit to digital, you can do everything digital. I just don't know if the toys give you that digital save as well. I can't speak to that. Your best bet is to buy a cheap toy, like one of the pilots or something, that's probably only a couple of bucks, and see if you can play as him, you know, when you're not. But Yeah, yeah no, I, I, what I've thought about doing is, cause, is keeping the toy, getting rid of the physical game, and replacing it with the digital game, which comes with more stuff for less money mm -hmm. and, you know, doing it that way. But um, yeah. I just don't know if I care enough, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, and honestly, like for me, the Star Fox stuff is the best part. It's like, it's fine. Boring rain. It's fine. It's a fine game. And I actually, I think the characters are really well done. It's, it's fun and exciting without being over the top and realistic. It's very cartoony and down to earth. The young kid is a pain in the ass and I hate him so much, but like, you know, it, it is what it is. It's fine. He's like a YouTuber and that's his whole personality. <laughs> He's a YouTuber. Yeah, perfect. He's, He's kind a, of annoying. It, it's like a really solid game and it's something I haven't played before. And I love those kind of games. I love playing a game that's like new and it just feels so new. So nice. I know I've been rambling for like 10 minutes, but it's a good game. I really recommend it. I hope it sells well enough that they make more characters and toys because I want to buy all of them and I want Samus and all Lamar and Captain Falcon as playable characters. That so make cool. that a thing. <laughs> make it a thing. Nice. Awesome. <sighs> Well, uh, thank you, Lucas. Thank you, everybody. We've changed all the systems. We made it to the end of the show. Um, thank you if you are still sticking around and you are a listener and you're watching us on twitch.tv slash radio. If you haven't already, just you know hit that little heart button and follow us. Why don't you? We are more than halfway to our goal of 50 followers, so that's what we are trying to get to right meow. Um, all right. Um, let's get out of here, folks. Um, you can find me on Twitter. On, I'm sorry. You can find me well, online. You can find you on Twitch. <laughs> yes. You can find me on Twitch, but you can also find me on Twitter on, um, at Infendo Eugene. You can also follow Infendo at Infendo on, on Twitter as well. Make sure you stop by Infendo.com as well and, you know, maybe join our Discord channel or drop your friend code in the channel there as well. Um, Lucas, where can the people find you when you're not saving the galaxy from Star Wolf? One wolf at a time. Um, you can find me at my website, which is chromatichue.com. I'm not going to spell it for you, but if it's too hard, you can also find me on Twitter under that same moniker. Probably talking to Steve or Justin or Eugene, so it's a little bit easier. Um, that's really the only place you can find me. Um, I guess the only other thing, since this is my only real chance to say it, is uh, Tea of the Week. Every week we do a new t-shirt at Infendo's merch store, which you can get to by clicking that little merch button right at the bottom of your Twitch, if you happen to be watching live, or just going to our Twitter and, again, clicking the link that we gratuitously send all over all the time. Um, this week's tea is a play off of last week's pronunciation problems with Licky Licky. So go get that tea a buy if you want it. Awesome. Uh, where can we find you this week, Steve? What are you lick licking? I love, by the way, the tweet that he put out. I just need to say real quick that was brilliant. So go to the Infender Twitter and look at the uh, <laughs> Infender shirt, Twitter. The shirt tweet. Get to that. Get to that Twitter. Yeah. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you can find me at uh, let's see on Twitter at Gentis One, <laughs> and you can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Gentis, I'm pretty sure. And you can find him on Twitto at Gentis4. So. <laughs> <Twitto. laughs> awesome. Justin, where can we find you twiddling? <laughs> you can find me on the Twitto at Infendo Justin. Uh, you can also find my Disney tweets at Utilidork. Um... And uh, you can find me working hard in a parking lot at a nearby big box store. Oh, God. Uh, near you. Three to four nights a week. So <laughs> free to sponsor us, big box store. <laughs> <laughs> Unnamed big box store that will probably sue us if we say the name of your store. <laughs> um, right. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I I really like after this weekend Splatfest and you know playing a bit of Fortnite and all that. Like, I really want to like 
there's like an hour or so after I get home from work, like in the at one o'clock in the morning, that I usually stay up and hey, if any, it's still around. Yeah, I was gonna say if any y'all wanna jump into a game of something, you know, take a look at what I've got and send me a friend request, and you know, we'll. Hi, Monster Hunter. Um, if you'd like to buy me Monster Hunter, <laughs> we, we will get you his address. Just let us know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very nice awesome um well thank you again if you are watching us live um you know just hit that follow button please 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 we're just trying to hit get 50 followers and then we'll stop bugging it we swear to god um oh, if you're watching us about live, something else <laughs> Yo, know, that's true. If we're if you're watching us live, you can see that um, lick licky shirt right now. It's looking pretty slick. Um, check it out on the on the stream right now. It should be showing up on your screen. All right, guys, we are getting out of here. It has been a week. We will see you all next week. It's going to be a spooky Halloween episode. Should be fun. Talk to y'all later. Peace. Mwah. Bye. 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 <laughs> I was going to say something funny for the closing, but I forgot what the joke at the beginning was. <laughs> I, um, was I, liked, I liked I liked that lick licky is slick licky. That was uh, well done. <laughs> <laughs> and then my brain immediately jumps to slick axes, and I'm back. <laughs> All right, well, this has been fun. We'll see you guys later. We're going to go hunt some uh, Rajang and maybe a naked gamut. <laughs> oh, are we gonna try the naked gameth tonight? I mean, we could if we want to hate ourselves. But hey, let's kill the live stream before we do that. Bye, Twitch. We love you. We'll see you all next week.